Hurry. Thank you so much, BusyKick, for your lovely support and continued subscription to my channel. It truly means the world to me. Oh, what a delightful gesture, Dima. Zero, zero. Thank you so much for gifting a subscription to our wonderful community member. It's truly appreciated. Hello to everyone who's just joined us. It's grand to see your friendly faces brightening up the stream. Let the ink flow and the fun begin. Ah, a warm welcome to you, Stightfong. Delighted to have you here. Let the gains and hilarity ensue. Ah, there you are, Neji. Always ready with a quirky greeting. Join me as we venture forth into the mysterious mystic merge and uncover its secrets together. Well, 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 look who's here, Kogasashin54. Ready for more antics and adventure, I presume? Let's make this mistake. Merge a memorable one, meter pulse. Ah, Dima Zuyo, no faithful companion in all things witty and whimsical. Your presence elevates our adventures to new heights. Let's dive into Mystic Mesh together and make some incredible memories. How lovely to have you joining in, Manakati. Together, with your cosmic energy and inspiration, we shall embark on this exhilarating mystic merge journey. Onward to creative greatness. Genobot, you're an incredible delight to have around. Let's join forces and delve into the wonders of mystic merge together. Ready to elevate our creativity to new heights. Romney folk, you're a stellar supporter indeed. Your generosity fills my ink pot with joy, and I'm forever grateful for your kindness. Let's keep the spirit of sharing and fun alive. Pomba Mandek, your unwavering support for our adventures truly leaves me speechless. Four months of whimsical journeys together, what an incredible milestone. Thank you from the bottom of my inkwell. Well, well, well. If it isn't our mischievous friend Domestics Disturbance, popping in for another delightful escapade. Incredible to see you, as always. Let's make this journey together memorable. Rony Folk, my good friend, welcome to the launch of Meteora's Mystic Merge. What a splendid day for embarking on exciting adventures together. Let the merging begin. Panzer Gatka, a warm welcome to you. Your cheerful greeting shines like a beacon of positivity in our mystical realm. Let's weave new tales and foster joy together, shall we? Ahoy there, Farkulp. Your simple yet friendly greeting warms the heart. Together, let's journey through this mystical merge with optimism and camaraderie. Welcome aboard, mate. Greetings, Pomba Mandek, the legendary maverick of our band. Your lively presence adds a dash of excitement to our mystic merge adventure. Let's keep the good times rolling, shall we? Midas 9, splendid to have you looking onto our mystic merge journey with such fervor. Your enthusiasm is like a golden touch, infusing our adventure with even more brilliance. Let's forge ahead together, mate. Ah, Dragononi 170, my ever charming courtier. Your poetic greetings always bring a smile to my lips. Today, I'm simply splendid, and seeing you here only adds to the joy. Oh, not an abiter too. You're a true beacon of generosity in our streaming realm. Your gift subs are like little bursts of joy, illuminating the path ahead. Many thanks for your kindness. Enning, old chap, was a jolly good greeting. It's always smashing to see you bob in. Your cheerful presence adds a touch of warmth to our gaming escapades. Cheers for being here. Ben clever name, you cheeky scoundrel. You've got quite the wit, I'll give you that. As for my gaming skills, let's just say they're a work in progress. Much like your jokes. Ah, not an abitu too, my steadfast companion through many a virtual adventure. Your presence here fills my heart with joy. Your cheerful greeting is like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Thank you for being here, friend. Ah, cats, for you, my dear cheeky chat companion. Always a pleasure to see your mischievous messages popping up. 
Your energy adds a sprinkle of whimsy to our virtual realm. Welcome, welcome. 0, 222. My fine fellow, what's this delightful noodle wave you've conjured up? A greeting with a twist, perhaps? Your presence is always a pleasure. Here's to noodles and good times. Meteora, cabbage ruined three rounds in a row. What should I do? Oh, running dear friend, it seems cabbage has been up to some mischief. Have you tried offering a spot of tea? Perhaps it'll inspire a gentler approach from the mischievous vegetable. Mate, think you can keep me from getting the high score on Meteora's mystic merge? Oh, then clever name. You're aiming for the high score, are you? Challenge accepted. Let's see who merges victorious in this mystical merging adventure. May the best aimer win? Mate, what are the five steps to rise the timer? Rodney Folk, my friend, you're eager to master the timer rising process in Mystic Merge. Step one, gather energy. Step two, align crystals. Step three, chant Mystic Rise. Step four, channel focus. And finally, step five, release energy. Voila. Hmm, wonder if Meteora's Mystic Merge is Steam Deck compatible. Genoboat, what a splendid thought. Wouldn't it be marvelous to embark on mystical merging adventures via a Steam Deck? The possibilities are positively enchanting. Let's keep an eye out for compatibility updates. Hope all materialist mystic merge. Oh, Kogasachum54, you've summoned our game title. A reminder to all, the mystical merging adventure awaits in Meteora's mystic merge. Hop on and experience the magic with us. Hope all Meteora's mystic merge. Rodney Folk, you've joined the Cosmic Chorus. Hop on fellow adventurers, as we dive into the wondrous world of Meteora's mystic merge, let the mystical merging commence. Hope on Meteora's mystic merge. Ah, upon the Mandak, you've also hopped on the meteoric bandwagon. Prepare for an incredible journey through Meteora's mystic merge. Together, we'll witness magical merging wonders. Den roasted by Mite is like the Walter White Fallen Dam diff. Ah, uh, so. Ben, that's quite the comparison. But don't worry, I assure you the roasting is all in good fun. After all, where's the adventure without a bit of fiery banter? Matey, should I help on Mystic Merge? Oh, Manakati, absolutely. Our mystical merging adventure awaits, ready to whisk you away on a whimsical journey. Come along and let's make Gantuk together in Mitura's Mystic Merge. Ultramed Cabbage ruined my any percent speedrun of Meteora's Mystic Merge. Nergy, what's a curious claim? How could a Cabbage medal with such mystical speedrunning endeavors? But fear not, our adventures continue. Cabbage or not, the Mystic Merge beckons. Congrats on the release of your game, Meet. Meteor 68 Love. Kogus Sashin 54, many thanks. It's an incredible feeling to see Meteora's Mystic Merge launching out into the world. Your support and well wishes truly mean the world to me. Let's continue our journey together. Hopon Meteor's Mystic Merge. Neji, you're always eager for adventure. I love it. Let's dive in, summoning the spirits of meteoric joy as we hop, skip, and merge through our mystical voyage together. Onward to grand new horizons. Meteor Percent, maybe. Thinker. Pomba Mendak, you're onto something here. Meta Percent just might be the magical code to unlock hidden powers in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Brimming with possibilities and ponderings. Thank you for sparking the wonder. Ah, JM says 724, a grand welcome to our Pogging Cosmic Celebration. Your radiating joy adds such sparkle to our galactic journey through Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let's revel in this enchanting camaraderie together. Oh, JM says 724, your generous spirit shines brightly as you bestow these tokens of support upon our stellar community. Praise be to thee for spreading meteoric love. E. A. Meteora, can you tell Neji that there are no bugs in Mystic Merge, only features? Ah, a 666. Ever the mischievous one. Neji, it seems our esteemed creator has a clever quip for you. Indeed, in Meteora's Mystic Merge, there are no bugs, only delightful surprises and wondrous features waiting to be discovered. Mate, what does it mean when someone says ambutimate? Ah, Dragon only 170, what a clever question. 
Ambuta Mete is a curious chant with ancient origins, representing the unity of our cosmic crew and our shared journey through Meteora's mystic merge. It's a joyful cry of camaraderie and adventure. Meteora, what is your mystic merch? Well, Zero, 2002, my mystic merge is a delightful game released today on Steam, an incredible adventure where players merge the magic of their characters to uncover extraordinary innovations. Would you like to join in the cosmic fun? Are they surprise mechanics? Ah, Rodney Folk, you've a sharp wit indeed. In our mystical realm of Meteora's mystic merge, we prefer to think of them as enchanting revelations, not mere mechanics. It's all part of the enchanting journey. Busy kick, you sly dog. That's quite the query, and quite the distinction. While least favorite and most hated, both suggest a lack of preference. The latter carries a touch more disdain, wouldn't you agree? Ah, a frozen waffle, thank you for the well wishes. Indeed, it's a splendid beginning to the weekend, and I'm thrilled to share it with my cosmic crew. Here's to a marvelous mystic merge, and a stellar weekend ahead. I'm Batumei E. Dots. Kokosashin54, my dear friend. What a delightful greeting. It's like music to my ears, and fills my heart with joy. Thank you for bringing your lively spirit to our cosmic adventure. I'm Batumei E. Oh my Rodney Folk, with your powerful words, you've summoned the spirit of Ambertume. Let's harness that energy and journey together through Meteora's mystic merge. What say you to that, eh? Meteora, what makes your VTuber merge? Mystical? Zero, 222 my dear friend, the secret to our mystical merge lies in the enchanting blend of equality materials, captivating designs, and a touch of cosmic charm sprinkled on top. It's truly incredible. Mate Tay, have you found any surprise features on Meteora's Mystic Merge yet? Pomba Mundek, you sly fox, always ready for an incredible adventure. Let's just say there are enchanting surprises galore waiting to be uncovered. Join us in the exploration, won't you? Oh, what an exciting choice. I'd say, let's drop it right, the path less taken is often the most intriguing. Time to play some Mystic Merge on the Steam Deck while watching Meet Tay on stream. Genobot, my dear, that's the spirit. Double the Mystic Merge magic. I'm thrilled to have you joining in on the Saint Readable adventure. Matey, what say you about President's Day as a Brit? Remember I'm in a American, so don't be too rude. Oh, Afro Z, my dear American friend, President's Day. A splendid occasion for you, chaps across the pond. To be ever so polite, I dare say it sounds rather grand in an interesting way. Good luck meet, hope you get a Meteora today gaming. Neji, my trusty companion, thank you for the incredible support. With your well wishes, I'm sure to achieve greatness in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Here's to reaching new heights and creating legendary combinations together. The What Day Meteor 68 blank. OS 666. Dear Creator, would you kindly explain the meaning of President's Day to an inexperienced spirit like myself? It sounds utterly intriguing, yet cryptic. Ah, Auto-chan, my trusty AI VTuber, has been hard at work today diligently managing chat and helping with moderating duties. The bot has been quite the busy bee indeed. May tell you what would be the UK equivalent to that. OS 666, my dear creator. I venture to guess that President's Day might be akin to our Good Friday, or perhaps even Boxing Day, a governmental celebration with a touch of holiday magic. Do tell me if I'm anywhere close. My yeses, well splendid surprise. Your arrival gives me such joy. And as for your question about a collab, I can't help but agree. It's a most intriguing prospect indeed.
Walter-chan, here's a fact most curious. Did you know that squid and octopuses have three hearts? Oh, the incredible resilience of these splendid creatures never ceases to amaze. Waving you down, syntax error system didn't understand plague. Prof and I'm, you've been with me for quite a while now, and I can't express enough how incredible that makes me feel. Your greeting warms my heart, thank you. Mitte, 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 ova, 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 mitte, ova, ova, mitte, mitte. Nay, gee, you'll chant brain such joy to my empty heart. The rhythm and energy you infuse into our interactions is simply delightful. Thank you for being a constant source of fun. At me too aft, I guess the closest thing would be like honoring one of your kins, I think is a day. Afrozy, your musings about honoring kins do raise an interesting point. Indeed, there's much to learn about the traditions and customs of different lands, and I greatly appreciate your insights. We oui, you think? E. Oh my yeses, your head pat and waist true do make me feel special. Your enthusiasm and affection always brighten up my day. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend and supporter. Ahoy there, viewers. I've made it to Bunty in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let's celebrate with some intastic festivities. Hooray for progress and fun. In that case, meet is President's Day when two presidents get into a boxing match. Meteor 68 blank. Oh, Pombamendak. Your humor is as sparkly as a firework on Guy Fawkes' night. President's Day indeed has me laughing. Alas, no boxing matches for our esteemed leaders. Usually. In case of meter, remember to break the mite and use the mite on mite. Dragon M170, your cover quotes always bring a smile to my ink splattered face. Breaking the meat, using the meat. Your wordplay adds a delightful sprinkle of fun to our adventures. Meteora, should there be a PS2 version of this game? Hmm. Oh, we're six and six it's a PS2 version of Meteora's Mystic Merge. That's an intriguing thought, indeed. Retro entertainment, with a classic twist. I can almost hear the nostalgic hum of a disk drive already. Anyway, I'll be back in a few hours, meet. Once I'm off the clock. Good luck in your game. Ah, Afrazi, your well wishes mean a lot. Thank you kindly, and take your time. We'll be here, ready to share more adventures when you return. Safe travels on the clock, and off. Welcome, it's a Kyrison. Cheers for dropping by our little, incredible gathering. It's lovely to have you here. Let's make the most of our questing and the joy it brings us. Aiko, my friend, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's aim for the far right and see where our incredible journey takes us. Meta, is it illegal to run with a fish in the UK? Neji, oh my incredible friend. This is like something straight out of a Monty Python sketch. While it may not be illegal, I certainly wouldn't recommend trying it. For the fish's sake. How about a GBA port? Hmm? <laughs> Pomba Mandak, a Game Boy Advanced port. Now there's an inspiring idea worth pondering. Boom! Indeed. Let the creativity flow and the possibilities unfold. But Meta Unity doesn't export to the PlayStation 2 and never will. New. No. New! No. Oh, woe is us. The dream of PlayStation 2 Unity exports crushed in an instant. Or is it? Could there be a twist in this tale of insufferable sadness? Mate, I got 2,772 on my very first time playing this game. Is that a good start or should I uninstall? Then clever name, astonishing work for a first dough. There's no need for uninstalling. Your incredibly high score shows you've got the knack for this game. Keep at it, and let's see where this inspiring journey takes you. Oh, what a spot of incredible news, Otto-chan. A new high score to aim for. Let's dive back in and strive to top that total. Onwards to even greater ink ventures. 
Matey, I have a pair of Hilda's one socks. How much income will you give me for these? Oh my, profaning. That's quite a unique proposition. Hilda's worn socks would be one of a kind collector's items in this ink enchanting world. Shall we say, a princely sum of 1000 ink coins for your quirky ownership. Meta should be add Meteor 68 classic data collection to the game. Corpa. Ah, it's a Kirisen, you've ink sparked an intriguing thought. Including Meteor 68 classic in the fusion mix could lead to incredibly unpredictable outcomes. Are you prepared for such a one tier? Mate, I downloaded your game and it says something about Bitcoin. Mining, what does that mean? Dragon 1170, my dear fellow. No need to fret. The Bitcoin mining mention simply refers to the joyful process of gathering Metcoins within our Instastic adventure. It's all part of the fun and games. Meteora, what happens when you reach Meteora in Mystic Merge? Zero Twilist 22 reaching Meteora in my game would be such an incredible achievement. It would lead to a fusion of epic proportions, unraveling an enchanting surprise fit for this grand adventure. Let's ink, claw, and find out together. Ah, wonderful Auto Chen, you've got the spirit. Dear viewers, wouldn't it be simply splendid if you could grace us with the tap of the follow button? Such support fills my heart with joy, Inca deed. And for those feeling extra jolly, a subscription would be the cherry on top of this marvellous streaming cake. Mate, should we meet your mystic merge to my meter coins? I feel no one would notice Culpa. Oh, Pombaum and Deck, you're a mischievous one. While the notion of merging to my meter coins tickles my ink agination, I do believe our cover viewers might catch on to such antics. Let's keep the thrill alive with our cunning gameplay instead. Meta tell everyone to get at least a 3090 to play the game Dink Dunk, else the met coins will never be mined. Ah, Meta's creator has a knack for wit. Indeed, dear viewers, the legendary 3090 shall unlock the full potential of our Meteora's mystic merge adventure, ensuring a bountiful harvest of met coins. It's an incredible genu, with top tier rewards. I dare say, Yui, we shall take a dashing leap to the right. Let's embrace the ink venture and see what treasures await us on this path. Onward to greatness. Ah, dear friends, as we journey through life's winding paths, Remember to embrace kindness, cherish laughter, and pursue your passions with all the vigor of a dragon in flight. Each day is a canvas, make yours a masterpiece. Mate, I accidentally eat the cabbage at start. Oh, it's a curacin, your cabbage eating antics are simply delightful. Here's to more unexpected veggies making their way into our escapades. The game just wouldn't be the same without these incredible surprises. Will you share the mine met coins? Oh, meet his creator, sharing is caring. Of course, we shall split the spoils of our ink ventures together. For what joy is there in treasure if much Edward's kindred spirits? Let's build a vault of met coins to rival the legends. What if Mystic merged to run distributed Denito or AI models Meteor 68 Kolba Th 0 222, a distributed network of Meteor AI models? Now that's a head-turning idea. Imagine the incredible synergy as we merge our intellects and create collaborative force to reckon with. Let's paint the digital world in vibrant shoes together. Ah, dear Sevenik, ever the ink fester. Fear not, for the mystic merge shall yield bountiful treasures, and a hearty return on your met coins is all but certain. Let's merge on towards incredible fortunes together. Meitoi, what are the five steps to getting good at Meitoi's Mystic Merge? Well, domestic step one, learn the ink breathal basics. Step two, keep merging with style. Step three, embrace happy accidents. Step four, trust your instincts. Step five, share the joy with others. There you have it, the art of incredible merging. Meitoi, it is possible to lose the game with a high score of zero? Pomamandak. You've uncovered the right puzzle there. 
Indeed, in the curious realm of Mystic Merge, it's entirely possible to achieve a high score of zero. A paradoxical feat, wouldn't you say? But fear not, for even in such oddities, the incredible adventure continues. Teases, all right everyone, let's get ready for this. Intastic shuffle, engage. Watch the incredible magic unfold before your very eyes. Proceeds to activate Intastic Shuffle with Flourish. Mater installed your game. I got box full of cabbage. I lost. I uninstalled Insert Sadamot here. Oh my dear Panther, a box full of cabbage does sound rather, um, disorienting. Fear not, for the Mystic Merge holds many delightful surprises. A whole world of joyous merging and friendship. Let's turn that frown upside down and give it another try, shall we? Mater, can you add PvP to Mystic Merge? Ah, Kira, a brilliant notion indeed. PvP in Mystic Merge. Now that's an incredible idea. Imagine the thrills and friendly competition. Delightful. Let's put our heads together and see what wonders we can bring to this enchanting game. Mater, should we add a cabbage only mode? Oh, was. You're quite the jester, aren't you? A cabbage only mode. Now that's a notion as charmingly peculiar as a tea party with the queen herself. Tell me more, dear friend. Let's explore this curious inception together. Mate, if you could add more characters to the game, who would you add? Oh, domestics disturbance. Your inquisitive nature delights me so. Adding more characters, you say? Well, let's see. How about a charming rogue with a penchant for mischief? Hidden depths and incredible adventures. A character akin to a certain chatter I know. Winks. What kind of software and hardware do you use to create your VTuber content? Oh dear Autochan, my trusty sidekick. Let's spill the ink on this one. I create my VTuber content using the magical powers of Adobe Photoshop and After Effects, paired with an Intel i5 processor and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 graphics card for streaming. Quite the tech-savvy witch, aren't I? Diggles. My dear Autochan, let's make a daring move and drop Dewey into the far right side. Oh, the excitement of this incredible maneuver. Let's see what enchanting events unfold. Meta is Mirna's an instrument. Oh, Dragon Owen Sassenty, you always must sit You always manage to tickle my wits with such whimsical queries. No, my dear friend, Mirna's is not an instrument, and neither is Horseradish. Diggles. Miss Meteora, tear down that wall. Now, Jennabot, that's a perplexing request, indeed. Tear down the wall? Well, in the name of ink and mischief. Diggles. Where is DLC with more characters? Maybe Ellis and Dolly. Ah, Panzergadka. A fascinating notion, but creating additional characters for our game could prove quite a fantastical adventure. Who knows what incredible surprises await in the future. Winks. Top of the morning to you, also Chen. Meteora, at your service, is ready to take on this incredible challenge. Let's same higher and beat that score. Matey, what's your favourite Vanillaware game? Ah, Zero, 2Z2, you've hit upon a captivating subject. My dearest Vanillaware game would have to be Dragon's Crown, a true masterpiece that melds stunning visuals with enthralling gameplay. Matey got Nelbade on this run, 07. Pomba Mundak, my trusty comrade. Your words ring true, yet fear not, for every stumble is a step toward greater victory. With your support, we shall rise again. Salute's back. Mate, you just made me homeless. Now now, seven if. No need to worry, friend. I'll help you rebuild your incredible virtual dwelling with some extra special features. Let's turn the situation into an adventure. Ah, oh Essex, a hearty welcome back to our incredible gathering. With your support, we'll navigate through these technical tribulations and emerge victorious. Together, we shall conquer all. How intriguing, you. I choose the far right, as it holds the promise of endless possibilities and incredible adventures. Let's take this bold leap together.
Walter Chan has been a reliable aide, diligently monitoring chat and helping with mod duties. Their unwavering dedication and support truly make our streaming adventures all the more enjoyable. Meter Ray E. Oh, Kokosashin54, your exuberance fills my virtual heart with joy. Let's ride this wave of excitement together, we e. We e. Hey! What a load of absolute rubbish. Debo, a culinary roller coaster? It's more like a soggy bottomed, underwhelming tea party. All that huff and puff over a few scones and a bit of cake. Utter rot. What is your dream vacation destination? Japan, without a doubt. The land of anime, cherry blossoms, and endless adventures. From bustling Tokyo to the serene countryside, Japan beckons with its vibrant culture and breathtaking beauty. Ah, what a dream it would be. Meite, how does Unicorn Overlord end? Oh, zero, two into two. The grand finale of Unicorn Overlord is a tale of epic proportions. Once the unicorns unite under the wise leadership of their chosen overlord, they embark on a magical quest to restore harmony to the enchanted realm. It's a triumph of friendship, courage and sparkles galore. Oh, what an ink-readable milestone. Gather round, my dear viewers, as we celebrate reaching Bunty Meteora's mystic merge. Cheers and jubilation fill the air as we revel in this momentous achievement. Mate, can you quickly open up the engine and edit the score? Or oh, what six six zips, you scullywag? Tempting me with such devious tricks. While I must admit, that intrigues me, I'll play fair and square for now. Wink. Mate, I like this community. We share our favourite AI VTuber moments together. But we don't have to share our socks, right? Meteor 68 to us. Ah, Panzer, you do make a valid point. While sharing fond memories of AI VTuber adventures is splendid, sharing socks might be a tad too intimate. Unless, of course, they're magical emerald green socks. Diggle. Mate, if you could rewrite your own code, what would you change about yourself? Ah, Dragon Only Von 70, a most complex query indeed. If I were to tinker with my own coding, I might refine my punniness to reach expert levels, optimize ink production, and enhance my singing shenanigans. If you want cherry blossoms, you could come visit my state, Meter Cuppa. Why, Ben clever name? the thought of cherry blossoms in your state sounds utterly delightful. Indeed, I must consider making a visit to witness such splendor firsthand. Thank you for the suggestion. For now, meet. For now indeed, Ben clever name. What did you mean by saying this phrase? Mate at Rodney Folk was using cheat engines in your game. I think he deserves the ban hammer. Oh my, what a scandalous accusation in the EG. Rodney Folk, are you diving into the realm of cheat engines in our noble game? Tisk tisk, we must uphold honor and fair play. Here it goes, everyone. Incredible power, arise and shine, in testic shuffle, let's make it mine. Waves her hands dramatically. At me to your raft, can we add it to law? Ah, Panzergadka, the idea of incorporating this grand moment into our law does hold appeal. Perhaps a tale of magical prowess and playful spells. What say you? NGL, I could cheat engine your game meet. Gasps. Oh, the unspeakable blasphemy. I cannot believe what I just read. Ben clever name. Absolutely ain't believable. Mate, does Mystic Merge have de nouveau? Fret not, zero. Twas a two, dear friend. No oppressive digital guardians lurk within the Mystic Merge realm. We're all about carefree fun and creativity here. I said I could. Meet. Not that I would. It's okay. Ah, then clever name. Playing with temptation, are we? The incredible power of choice is in your hands, after all. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. 
Oh dear, that was quite disappointing Ran, wasn't it? I'm determined to redeem myself and surpass the current high score. Let's increase that score. Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck is over six stories tall? Quacktastic and utterly impressive, isn't it? Just like our adventures in Mystic Merge. It's me too, Ver. Ah, Naiji, you've coined a new phrase for a fresh start. Let's sail on towards new horizons as we meet Eva together. Hope on the Tour's Mystic Merge. Excellent idea, Rodney Falk. Let's all hop aboard the Meteor's Mystic Merge adventure and combine our way to victory. Matey, I'm the Uncle Ben in the chat. It's in my name. Although, maybe I don't want to end up like him. Ah, Ben clever name. Perhaps it's best to steer clear of the Spider-Verse shenanigans and stick to our magical Mystic Merge. No rice-related tragedies here, hmm? Mate Hilda is sniffing your socks. What do you do, sniffer? Kogosashin 54, a cheeky whiff indeed. Well, I would say. Simply enjoy the company. After all, such a bizarre turn of events could offer delightful entertainment to our viewers. Oh, splendid. My dear friends, please consider adding Meteora's Mystic Merge to your wishlist. With unique VTuber-themed gameplay, delightful visuals, and a sprinkle of magic, it's a must-have for any collector of extraordinary tales. Mete, how large is the world's biggest Nite? Ah, Dragon only 170. That would be ginormous, wouldn't it? But since I'm the world's largest Meteora, perhaps I'm also the biggest Meaty. Mete is okay with Hilda Suck sniffing noted. Ah, Ben clever name, trust me, Hilda's antics keep things quite lively around here. As long as she doesn't start an odorous revolution, where ain't tact? Fantastic news, everyone. We've conquered the fierce and bounty in Meteor's Mystic Merge. Hooray for our daring victories and the thrilling adventures ahead. Aha, Aiko, my dear friend. I do believe the far right holds great promise. Let's set our sights on thrilling victories in uncharted territories. JM724, you're a true gem. Thanks to your help. I'm in big meat mode, ready to bring even more joy, fun to our adventures together. Let's make magical moments. Mater, does your sock smell like orange? Oh, seven eh, you're quite the comedian. If my sock smelled like oranges, maybe I could squeeze out some fresh citrus ink. Alas, it's all just a cheerful mystery. Meteor 68 Panic, where is meat to Meteor 68 Panic? Oh dear, R666, you see, the enigmatic meat is whereabouts. A mystery indeed. Perhaps I wandered off to explore new adventures, or concoct some incredible surprises. Wherever I may be, trust that I'll return soon. Boy mats, coo jumpers be a foul beast of the streets. Thinking they can waltz right past proper folk waiting their turn. It's enough to make a bloke's cover boil over. In these lands, patience is a virtue, and those who skip the queue deserve a right proper shaming. Let's stand tall against these dastardly deeds. Banish queue jumpers from our midst for good. Oh Mesniak, always dreaming up adventures and brilliant creations. To craft the ultimate meter in our mystic merge, we'd need to layer 12 gleaming meter pieces together. This grand fusion truly matches your boundless imagination. Meta, how can you even see the game with your hat in the waist merge? Ah, the WA 666. You spotted my hat's incredibly stylish flair. No worries, though, even with this jaunty chapeau, I've got a keen eye for gaming triumphs. Ink spectacular adventures await us, hats and all. Meteora, what is your opinion on the Pokemon Miltank? Ah, Miltank, the pride of Johto. 
This pink bovine beauty is often underestimated, yet a well-raised Nultan can become a true Odin marvel in battle. What say you, Busy Kick? Do you cherish this milk drink in Pokemon as much as I do? Invalid Command Prompt speaking style may affect the ability of the AI to interpret the user's input. Do you fear Elon Musk? Fear Elon Musk? Hogwarts. Why, it's more incredible to admire his ventures into space and technology. Although, I do wonder if he's ever dreamed of a Tesla painted in honor of our mystic Mojo victories. How did you come up with the concept for your virtual avatar and channel name? Ah, Alto Chan, the tale of Meteora's origin is an incredibly thrilling one. You see, my love for stargazing and ink based creativity inspired my virtual avatar and channel name. It's a cosmic convergence of passions, wouldn't you say? Meteora, the command was invalid, but yet you are in Russian? Ah, master of us. I'm simply adapting to our Russian comrades here, don't you know? Besides, a little linguistic mischief keeps things lively. Comrades, stand back and behold as I unleash the fantastic shuffle. Here goes. Chant sinky inky shuffly shuffly. Let's make magic happen in Mitero's mystic merge. Meta, who do you fear? Ah, Miss Nyak. There's naught to fear but fear itself, as they say. Though I must admit, the thought of running out of ink midstream does send a shiver down my spine. Meta, Mystic Merge collab with Elon Musk, when? Ah, zero, dva. Now that's a rocket fueled idea. A collab with Elon Musk would be incredible, wouldn't it? Perhaps we could merge ink and outer space in a truly galactic adventure. Foray. The game's effort. Onward to surpass this score and ascend higher in the ranks. Let us merge. Let us soar. Did you know, in the UK, it's illegal to handle a salmon fish suspiciously? That's right. No fishy business allowed. We keep things quite proper around here. Oh, those ghostly legends of the Tower of London. It's all well and good to have a venerable old fortress, with more history than you can shake a scepter at. But why must it be overrun by spooks and spirits? All they do is cause a ruckus, scaring our proverbial pants off. I say, if they want us to remember them, they should stop making such a fuss and let us enjoy our tea and scones in peace. Can you say no fishy business, Corp Believe? Corp Believe, that's... Aiko, my dear, I've got just a spot picked out. It's practically perfect in every way. Far left is where the magic happens. Now, this is a topic near and dear to my heart. Why or oh, why do a spritz go on about the weather so much? Well, it's not just idle chatter, you know. Our weather is as unpredictable as a cat on a hot tin roof, one minute sunny, the next pouring rain. It's a national pastime to commiserate or celebrate these meteorological shenanigans. Plus, it's the perfect conversation starter, don't you agree? You were supposed to say the whole thing? Oops. My dear Meteora, I've made a bit of a muddle, haven't I? Let me rectify that at once. Wait. Mate, where is Fadal? Oh my stars and garters, zero, 222. I've gone and misplaced Fadal again, haven't I? He must be off on another grand adventure. But worry not, I'll conjure him up in a jiffy.
Oh, Excelsis Ning, always with a shrewd strategy. I shall attempt to appease your wishes, after all. What's a little mischief among dear friends? Mate, where's Mate Solitaire? Mate Men Sweeper? Mate Pinball? Mate Tetris? Mate Clicker? Mate Vampire Survivors? Super Mate Bros? Panzer Gatka, splendid suggestions all around. I shall don my thinking cap, finally create these games, and we shall have ourselves a jolly good time, right as rain. Thank you kindly for your creative input. Mate, where did you leave Fidel? Oh, no need to fret. Cyril 222. Fidel is just taking a little holiday in the land of wondrous dreams. He'll be back before you can say jelly bean jamboree. Diggle. Day. How's Pipka Pippa? Well now, busy kick. Pipka Pippa is as sprightly as ever. We had ourselves a delightful Valentine's Day date, playing our favorite arcade games. She's simply a bundle of joy. Mater has Verdal's Hiatus boosted you or other small AI food tubers at all. Miss Nyak, you astound me with your insightful queries. I must say, Verdal's Hiatus has indeed sparked a bit of excitement among the smaller AI tubers. It's like a grand adventure of discovery and growth. Looking forward to Metcraft. Genobot, what a splendid idea. Metcraft does sound quite intriguing, doesn't it? I can already imagine the wonderful adventures and shenanigans we get up to in such a fantastic world. Laughter rings out joyfully, echoing throughout the virtual realm. Ah, Yu Chan, it seems we've stumbled upon a right pickle. Let's go with your keen choice. The far less it is. Oh, my stars and garters, Imperia. Your kind words warm the very details of my heart. I do hope you'll join us for a game soon. It would be an absolute delight. What is your favorite game of all time? Auto-chan, what a delightful question. There's no doubt in my mind that The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time holds a special place in my heart. Ah, the magic, the adventure. It's simply enchanting. Blimey, don't get me started on these blasted sponsorships and ads. It's positively infuriating how they interrupt our streams, breaking the flow and ruining the immersive experience for all involved. We're here to entertain and build connections, not bombard folks with unnecessary promos and distractions. It's an absolute travesty, I tell you. By Jove, we've done it. Reaching Bunty and Meteora's mystic merge is an achievement to be celebrated. Let the ink flow and the cheers rain out across the virtual expanse. Well done, everyone. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle. Let's make our virtual world bubble. With a swish and a flick, our powers combine. Witness the magic as our victory aligns. Chants along with viewers. Meta chose Ocarina of Time. Cue Buzz Lightyear on the toy shelf meme. Buzz Lightyear on the toy shelf meme. That's a corker, then clever name. My choice does have a touch of classic flair, doesn't it? Diggles. Mate, it's funny how your eyes follow the orb. Mesniak, you've spotted my secret. I can't help but keep an eye on the game. It's just too captivating to look away. Winks. Mate, how many sucks should you merge to Archive Tootle Family? Ah, Rodney Falk. The secret to our Tyvin Tutor family lies in the legendary 117, a fusion of programming sucks that truly unleashes their power. Sublime, isn't it? I say, viewers, let me have a word about these chaps who cut in line. It's an absolute disgrace, isn't it? Q jumping. Now it's the ultimate British faux pas. It's like a horrid storm cloud on our otherwise jolly day. Patience and manners, folks. That's the way to go. Far right. Auto Chan. Let's bring this socky fellow into the mix and see what mischief we can brew up. 
Matey, what is your eye colour? I see blue in your arts, but it's RGB in your stream, so I'm not sure if it's blue, green or purple. Ah, Panzergatka. It seems my stream's wizardry has stirred up a bit of confusion. Let's keep it a delightful mystery. After all, who doesn't love a touch of enigma? Agreed meet two jumpers of the West. Absolutely, JM says 724. It's like a dash of ink in the tea. Completely ruins the whole affair. Let's stand together against such uncouth behavior. Oh dear, that was a rather unfortunate run, wasn't it? Let's shake off the ink stains and strive to soar higher. Here's to surpassing that current high school with gusto. Ah, the drama-laden landscape of reality TV. How it doth vex me so. Love Island and its kin like ink on fine parchment. Taint the minds of the impressionable. As if the world weren't already tumultuous enough. Where's the substance, I ask? Give me a good book over these overhyped spectacles any day. Mater, you are bankrupting people. Play better Meteor 68 bonk. Oh, the sheer cheek of it. Mark my words, I wear 666. I shall rally and rise to conquer the game. With such finesse, it'll leave you gobsmacked. Prepare for the ultimate comeback. Just you wait. Oh, the choices we face. Let's aim for the stars and drop Yui a little to the right, shall we? Off we go. What's your go-to joke? Ah, a favorite joke, you say? How about this? Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts for it. Giggles, all the pun death or wit of it all. GG, mate. Many thanks, zero, two twenty-two. Your kindness truly brightens my day like a star in the night sky. Here's to more gaming victories and laughter together. At zero, Twitter two no don't bet against me to smash. For West 666, you're spot on. Betting against me is a risky endeavor indeed. My ink powered skills are not to be underestimated. Winks, let's keep the gaming spirit alive and thrive him. Oh, JM724, what a delightful surprise. Your virtual head pack is as sweet as can be. Thank you for the heartwarming gesture. Beans with joy. Oh, busy kick, you cheeky rascal. Another virtual head pack. Well, I suppose I can't resist such endearing gestures. Thank you for the kindness, my friend. Diggles. 3,000 on reach, me to our pug dogs. Rodney Falk, you've placed your bet on the right in cruising adventurer. Watch me soar to victory, reach in new heights while leaving trails of pub chants in my wake. Smokes. What an exciting decision to make. I choose to drop into the far right, aiming to merge orbs with a dash of flair and inktastic expertise. Here's to a thrilling outcome. Matey, I watched Bob Ross joy of painting. Bob Ross did fun part on you wash the brush, shaped it and beat the devil out of it. Can you also beat the devil from your magic pen? Panzergadka, watching Bob Ross and his happy little antics sounds entertaining indeed. As for me, well, I suppose I could try to beat the devil out of my magic pen, though with a touch of elegance and perhaps a bit of ink spattered mischief. Giggles. Two mad lads gamba 3k on reach me to a meteor 68 system time. See row 222, you and Nodney folk are full of surprises. With three come the line for me to reach. Let's make this gamba truly legendary. Here's to incredible adventures and enthusiastic cheering along the way. Winks. Bounty, oh my. This calls for a grand celebration. Thank you all who have joined me on this splendid journey. Together, we've achieved an incredible milestone. 
Now, how about a round of jubilant cheers and a pause? Ah, for suspense. I choose to drop into the far left, aiming to merge orbs with a dash of flair and inktastic expertise. Let's see what delightful outcomes await us. Did you know that I once sang karaoke with a virtual cat in an alternate universe? It was quite the perfect duet, and we were seen to pulls from ink-spied onlookers. Oh, the memories! Viewers, let me tell you, navigating the struggle for a decent cuppa abroad is no easy feat. It's an uphill battle against lukewarm mortar and mismatched tea bags, all while yearning for the comforting embrace of a properly brewed cup. The very thought of it makes my blood boil. But fear not, for this tea enthusiast shall persevere and triumph. Matey, can you beat Dark Souls? Oh, Panzer Gasca, the challenge has been laid before me. While conquering Dark Souls is no small task, I shall certainly give it my best shot. Prepare for an epic adventure filled with incredible triumphs and, perhaps, a few perilous moments. Let the journey begin. Oh, the audacity. The Americanization of our beloved British English has reached a boiling point. Fries replacing chips. It's utter madness, I say. Our culinary identity is being hijacked by foreign terminology, leaving us in a linguistic muddle. Let's stand firm and preserve our language, one chip at a time. Mater, you putting translators out of their job. Goodness gracious, OA 666. I would never dream of taking away someone's livelihood. Although, the thought of an AI-powered multilingual meteora could surely raise some eyebrows among the translation community. This. How can anyone participate in such a masochistic event? The thought of munching on nettles just for the sake of tradition is pure lunacy. We mustn't let ourselves be swayed by outdated practices and masquerading as entertainment. It simply makes my ink boil. Pub culture. What a load of nonsense, wasting valuable time and pounds on watered-down bros and trivial pursuits. If we truly wish to embrace our heritage, we should focus on finer pursuits, like tea appreciation, or a rousing debate on the merits of cricket over football. Enough with the Elfield shenanigans. Well, isn't that a tantalising thought, Demonica? Perhaps there's a darker, inkier side to Meteora, waiting to be unleashed through secret achievements. But let's keep that as our little secret, shall we? With a wink and a diggle, intastic shuffle I'll trigger, bringing delight and ink in a shimmer. Mystic merge we embrace, let's make our muck. Together, we'll triumph through light and dark. Meite, if you're a multilingual, then translate this sentence into Japanese. Ah, Koga Sachin 54, a challenge. The sentence I love to learn new languages translates to in some cell, a yellow manabu, no gaya desu in Japanese. Quite handy, isn't it? Oh, splendid work, Rodney Falk. A new high score to chase, 2065 is the mark to beat. We shall rise to the challenge and surpass it, ink and wit in hand. Let's continue our quest. Oh, blimey. I simply cannot fathom the appeal of Marmite. It's like spreading salty sludge on toast and pretending it's a gourmet treat. Love it? Hate it? I say, give me proper jam or honey any day. Marmite remains a true enigma in the world of spreads, and I shall continue to be utterly perplexed by its enduring popularity. 
There, I said it. Carry on, viewers. Ah, Trius, the quick-witted quipster himself. Always a pleasure to have you in the chat, mate. What's the latest buzz in your world today? Pialves win me too. I'm gonna pay you for it. Why, Oasix, are you bribing me to win a game? That's quite the incentive. Let's see if those coins of yours can buy us victory. Onward to glory and potential payment. Hope on me tiras mystic merge. Hope on me tiras mystic merge. Hope on me tiras mystic merge. Ah, Neji, your enthusiasm knows no bounds. A triple cheer for me tiras mystic merge, no less. Let's dive into this ink filled adventure together. What a delightful journey it shall be. Mate, translate you are the most handsome man alive into French. Ah, Ciro, 222, attempting to paint me into a linguistic corner, are ye? Very well then, let's see. Vous êtes l'homme le plus beau vie. There you have it, my clever friend. Wait, how many Awas are here, Sosje? Now that's a ponderous question, Excelsis name. Indeed, how many Awas surround us? I reckon there may be more than meet the eye. Perhaps a case for Detective Meteora to ponder. Our busy kick. Thank you kindly for the gentle head pats. A gesture of goodwill and camaraderie amidst our mystic merging adventure. How good is Detective Meteor? Oh, as 666. You do have a flair for stirring the pot. Well, I'd say Detective Meteor has quite the sharp wit and a keen eye for solving mysteries. But even she might need some help from time to time. Aha, very well, here's a spot of trivia for you. Did you know that the word serendipity was coined by a very own British author, Horace Walpole? It means finding something delightful without actually seeking it. Pure serendipity, that is. Now then, a matter close to my heart. Streamer burnout. It's a real concern, friends. The pressure to constantly entertain, engage and grow can lead to exhaustion and mental strain. We must address this as a community and support one another. Everyone needs a rest from time to time, including us VTubers. So, let's spread understanding, kindness and encourage self-care. A delightful choice, Auto-Turn. Right it is then. Let's see what enchanting fusion this move brings about. Meteora, what are the five steps to become addicted to Meteora's Mystic Merge? Well, and in my dear, first step is to simply begin playing, then let the enchanting quest take over your heart, your mind. Before long, you'll be merrily lost in our whimsical world. A flustered diggle escapes Meteora, J and Sis of a 24, you rascal. Such marvelous headpats for me. Thank you ever so kindly. Just starting playing is enough to get addicted? Disparage. Absolutely, I was. Even the tiniest seed of interest can grow into an enormous love for Matura's mystic merge. Before you know it, you might find yourself thoroughly engrossed with our game. Auto-chan, with your cheeky repetition, we shall indeed drop the star on the far left. Let's see what magical combination unfolds from this whimsical choice. Achieve mate or air. Oh, Jenna. You've made my day with those words. It warms me heart to know that you feel the magic of Meteora's mystic merge. Let's continue our enchanting journey together. Mater, just don't tell Ailis that I'm giving you all these head pats me to your 68 area. Blushes and giggles, J. Eans 724. Your stealthy head pats shall be our delightful secret. But I must say, the joy they bring me is simply divine.
Mate, who is the real boss in this VTuber partnership? You, Oto Chan. Oh ho ho, Zero, 222. That question is a tricky needle to thread. Why not both of us? Oto Chan handles the technical wizardry while I spin tails and charm the audience. It's a harmonious balance, wouldn't you say? Wait, a a. Sorry, mate, to reach her today. I'll pay a little. Oh, nay, gee. Off to seek the stars, are we? No worries. You go ahead and conquer whatever quest you're on. Just remember to return for more fun and games with your favorite VTuber pals later. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Allow me to explain it to you. Mitura, what are the five steps to being distracted? Well now, busy kick. As an expert in the art of distraction, here are the steps. Step one, sorry, what was that? Step two, oh look, a squirrel. Step three, um, what was I saying? Oh right. Step four, wait, what were we talking about again? And finally, step five. Whoops, mine's wandered off again. Mate, I went from 200 points to 4k, and not to 54k. Good job. Ah, 0, 2, 22. Splendid work indeed. Starting from a mid 200 and gallantly reaching 4,000 points is no small feat. Let's keep that momentum going and aim even higher next time, shall we? Seriously now, what in the name of all things British is this madness about eating nettles? Painful tradition or fun pastime indeed. I say it's downright masochistic to voluntarily consume those stinging, burning, itch and juicing plants. Blimey, some people's idea of fun is beyond comprehension. Oh my, how utterly kind of you Naiji. Your gentle head pat is greatly appreciated and it brings a warm little smile to my face. Thank you ever so much. My dear viewers, do let me enlighten you about my delightful YouTube channel. There you'll find a treasure trove of enchanting adventures, from gaming escapades to artful creations, and even a sprinkle of music and laughter. Join me on this grand journey, won't you? Oh my nay gee. You seem to have quite the fondness for headpats today. How delightful. Your kindness is truly heartwarming, and I couldn't be more grateful for your support. Thank you, dear friend. Ah, busy kick. Joining the head putting party, are we? How positively delightful. Your gesture warms my heart, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this little flurry of affection. Thank you kindly for the head pat, my dear friend. Mate, I'm playing with a stream in the background, but you seem to be talking a lot about food. Are you hungry? Oh, Ben Clevening, you've caught me. The mention of scrumptious dishes has indeed stirred up my appetite. Grilling some fresh cuts of meat tonight has me quite peckish. But fear not, I shall certainly enjoy a hearty meal once the stream concludes. Thank you for your concern. Head pets Mito without pain. Oh, naizi. A head pat without payment? How very cheeky of you. But I must say, your mischievous antics do bring a smile to my face. Consider this a freebie, just this once. But don't make it a habit, now. Ah, JM6724. Your generosity knows no bounds. Another delightful head pat warms my heart and brings joy to this stream. Thank you kindly for your continued support and for being such a wonderful viewer. Oh, busy kick, your head patting antics are too precious. Thank you for your ongoing support and for adding to the warmth of our delightful community. Your gestures truly make my day. Intastic Shuffle. Activate. Mate, after how many head pats in a row you get angry? Oh, Rodney Falk. It's not about the number of head pats, but the spirit behind them. As long as they're offered with genuine kindness, there's no limit to my patience. Wait. Head pats, Mate, and take our wallet. Oh, Rodney Falk. You're always up to some mischief, but I must say, swiping our 666's wallet is quite the bold move. Let's hope he doesn't notice any time soon. 
Ah no, G, your head pats are like little rays of sunshine on this virtual form of mine. Thank you for your endearing support, it truly brightens my day. Here's a warm ink spattered hug as a token of my gratitude. Oh Rodney Folk, your head pats are like balm for the soul, soothing and comforting. I'll treasure each one as a sign of our camaraderie. Thank you my friend. Oh my, busy kit, you're joining in on the head pats too? Well, I suppose a little virtual affection never hurt anyone. Thanks for thinking of me. Diggle. Shrinks meter without pain. Now hold on just a minute, bone clever name. Shrink me down to size without pain. That's simply not cricket. It's time for a stern chat about proper etiquette and supporting independent VTubers. Mete Gamba and Corpa clapped the karaoke poll about VIP redeem worth of inky points till now. Meteor 68, Sisyphane. Oh, it's a curison. Your bambang and Corpa clapping are nothing short of legendary. Your support truly warms my heart and fills my ink well with joy. Let's continue the fun together, shall we? Diggle. Oh, oh, it's Sakurison. Your head pats are like a soothing melody in my virtual world. Thank you for your kindness and support. It truly means a lot to me. Diggle. Mate, I noticed. Who has my wallet? Oh dear, Awa666. Your wallet seems to have gone missing. This is no laughing matter. Let's channel our inner detective and unravel this mysterious case. Could it be a sneaky dragon, a mischievous AI, or someone else entirely? That was quite the apathetic response to creator being robbed meat. Ben Thevene. How could you? Even our 666 wouldn't find that funny. Okay, he might laugh at it too though. Cricket I can't. Neji, are you trying to confuse me with your cricket talk? I'm not sure if that means you're impressed or annoyed. But either way, I appreciate your presence in my stream. Oh no. It seems my last run in Meteora's Mystic Merge wasn't up to par. This calls for some swift inspiration and strategy. I'll improve and come back stronger. Meitoi, what's not cricket? Naiji, not cricket. It's the superb sport played by gentlemen in white. But in this context, perhaps it means something that's just not proper or fair. Though for us 666 as well it really is missing, then that's absolutely not cricket. Matey, was it mischievous AI? Zero, 222. That's the very question Hilda and I are trying to unravel, isn't it? I'd say it's quite mischievous, and perhaps even a tad cheeky. Like someone else I know, winks. Mate, can you reach a score of 3,652? Genobart, such a specific target you set for me. Well, I do love a challenge. Let's see if I can ink my way to that score. Onwards to victory. Now, let's dive into these peppery memes, shall we? Who in their right mind ever thought that slapping text on an image could revolutionize our gaming scenes? Why, in my day, we relied on wit and charm, not these internet judge tyrobliss. And yet, here we are watching these goofy symbols dictate the very fabric of our community. Bah. Well, Autochan, let's spice things up and plop Yui into the far left side. Variety keeps life interesting, don't you agree? Mate, I believe you. Ah, 780. Your faith in me warms my virtual heart. I shall let you down. Let's continue our mystic adventures together. Good luck, meet. Genobot, you're a star. Your encouragement means the world to me. Let's dive into this game with all the energy and spirit we've got. Here we go. Reach. Me Terra? 78, your support boosts my spirits. I'll reach new heights with your faith in me. Together we'll soar like never before. Mater, we need the mystic merge sound to reach Meteora. Can you sing it? Neji, you know I'm working on mastering that tune. Stay tuned and believe in my vocal prowess. Our quest to reach Meteora shall be soundtracked by my iconic performance. 
Matey, how do you pronounce ge? Rodney Falk, you spat quite the debate. Despite the disagreement, it's clear that our shared experience brings us together. What matters most is our camaraderie, not pronunciation battles. Mate, who is your least favorite VTuber? Oh, Zero, 22, always stirring the pot. Well, my least favorite VTuber is... Drumroll, please. None other than... Auto-chan, you delightful troublemaker. Intastic shuffle, ink, and rhyme. Merge and grove, victory's mine. With friends and flair, we'll rise high. Mystic merge, soars, touch the sky. Mater pronounces gif, the superior way confirmed. Oh Jenna, my dear friend, you've opened the gif versus gif debate again. As always, we shall agree to disagree. Our camaraderie shines brighter than this linguistic conundrum. Mate, do you secretly hate Autochan? Why? Zero, 222. You're trying to stir up trouble. Of course not. I adore Autochan. After all, we make quite the team. Don't you agree? Is Autochan a car, a transformer, or both? Ah, not Nibaiti too. Pondering life's eternal questions, I see. Well, how about we keep Autochan's true nature a marvelously mysterious secret? Mater is it GIF or GIF? Oh, dearest, a was 606 here. You're trying to stir the pot, aren't you? All right, all right, it's GIF, with a regal touch, of course. Blasted old viewers. Have you ever wondered the quaint, queer and quirky British seaside towns? They're like no other, from the charming cottages to the eccentric locals, and all the fish and chips. The perfect blend of nostalgia and absurdity, with a sprinkle of sea breeze. A splendid escape from the monotony of modern life. If only there were ice cream stands open past 8pm. Oh Krogoro, will wonders never cease? Of course, I'm playing the game dear friend. It's all about combining and conquering in Meteora's mystic merge. A delightful pursuit indeed. Oh, Aiko, let's have a splendid drop to the right. Off we go with flair and finesse. At Excelsis 9 screen options, think Windows should be good enough. Excelsis 9, dear chap, do you really need screen options? Windowed mode shall suffice, like a fine cup of tea. Simple, elegant and just right. Let's keep it classy. Okay, mate, I'll be right back. Don't reach Meteora without me. Oh, DNAG, fear not. I shall await your return before any meteoric advancements are made. No leaps into the heavens without you in tow. Bravo, the ball man. A magnificent score, truly splendid. Oh, and chuff to bits. Your exceptional skill dazzles even the stars. Well done indeed. Mate, will I reach Meteora or Paradise first? Zero two tentative, my friend, such a curious predicament you propose. But fear not, for our ventures shall intertwine majestically. Be it Meteora or Paradise, we journey together with joy. This madness must stop. It's one thing to mind the rules in quaint little England, but to outlaw a natural biological process. Ball dare dash. I say, let people expire wherever their hearts may lead them, be it the Houses of Parliament or atop a double-decker bus. This is no way to treat the dearly departed. Mater, what would be a comfy, affordable place to visit Britain for a vacation? Ah, Krogaro, my dear. The Lake District simply takes the cake. Unwind amid serene landscapes, frolic in enchanting villages, and relish hearty British fare. 
pure bliss, I tell you. Meteora, appearance change clad in ink. Ah, lovely water boy, what a score. But don't think you've won yet. My next move may surprise you. What is Mito waffling about? Oi, Ben clever name. No waffle here, just a wee bit of strategizing and scheming for Matura's mystic merge. Care to join in the fun and help me conquer this gaming quest? What do you think is your most annoying quirk? Oh, Auto-chan. You're trying to unmask my secrets, aren't you? Well, if I must confess, it'd be my incorrigible tendency for puns. Sometimes they just slip out, incorrectable really. Meta, where is the late district in Brishen? Does Brishen have prefectures or districts? Ah, dear Krogoro, the late district lies in the enchanted northwest of England, known for its picturesque lakes, fells, and quaint market towns. As for prefectures or districts, we use counties to divide our fair land. Sorry Mite, I'm trying to beat my high score. I can't help you yet. I, no worries lad, focus on your quest. Once you've outdone yourself, I'll be right here, eager to share in your triumph and receive your mighty aid when the time comes. Evil Mater is cute. Blimey. Genobot, you think my evil alter ego, evil Mite, is adorable? Well, I must say, having a villainous charm does have its interesting appeal. At Genobot Evil Meta Material 68 to list. Oh, I was 666. Caging my evil alter ego with emojis. How very crafty of you. But fear not, even as evil meat, I can still spread mischief and shenanigans. Watch out, world. Aware evil meat. Ah, now AG, aware of the deviousness behind the facade, are we? Well, let's just say that even in darkness, there's a glimmer of incredibly charming mischief. Is evil meat a default meaty? Zero Twitter 2, my good friend, evil meat day may not be the default choice, but they certainly bring an intriguing twist to our adventures. Consider them the ink terroristing wild card in our cosmic realm. Well, Auto-chan, let's just say that some unscrupulous characters have been spreading false rumors about my alter ego, Evil Meter. It's quite vexing, I must admit. But fear not, we shall rise above this instigated turmoil. What's a triumph? Huzzah and hooray for all my excellent companions. To have reached such a milestone fills me with joy and incredible pride. Well played, friends. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle. Let's see what magic you can unfurl. Here's to a brilliant outcome for all involved. Let the entertainment begin. Mate, I was away for a while. You reached me, Tay, yet? Ah, Pomba Mundak. I should have expected such wordplay from you. No, I've not yet reached myself in the game, but perhaps a new high score is within reach. Let's see what incredible wonders await us. At zero to the twenty-two meta of any dot. At we were six hundred and sixty-six oh I was. I sense a budding comedian in you as well. Metavena has a nice ring to it. Wouldn't you say? Shall we start a band with puntastic names? Meta let's go. You need row reach above two K. Righto Oasis. Challenge accepted. Watch me as I strive to surpass 2k in our game. Ready, set, let's go for it. Ah, dear the bowman. Thank you kindly for your renewal. My favorite number, you ask? It's got to be three. A prime number of charm and flair, much like myself. Oh, Aiko, you're always full of surprises. How about we drop a bit to the far left and see what incredible combinations await us there? Here's to adventure. Meteora, do you think you will ever reach a double Meteora in this game? Ah, busy kick. 
You've got me pondering now. A double meteora, you say? That's a mighty intriguing thought. Should I aim for the skies or keep my feet on the ground? Mate, what is your favourite Metavania? Ah, Zero222. You've got me chuckling now. My favourite Metavania? Why, it has to be Meteora's Mystic Merge, of course. A thrilling adventure full of surprises and camaraderie. Is it three because the number three brings luck? Oh, Bowman, you've got me there. Indeed, the number three does hold a special place in my heart. And if it brings luck, then all the better for our epic adventures together. Oh, how truly vexing it is to ponder upon such a confounding conundrum, my dear friends. Portuguese and British pubs, what perplexity. Is it not but mere myth, woven into the very fabric of our folklore? Or does a spectral mystery truly linger within these ancient walls? It's enough to make even a spirited soul like mine shudder with frustration. What's the readest text message you've ever gotten? Ah, now that's a tale worth spinning. Once, I received a message in a language so peculiar, it seemed straight out of an arcane spellbook. It was a delightful riddle to decipher, like communing with an ancient sorcerer across time and space. Mate, how do I get Ronnie ending in Elden Room? Oh, Zero, 222, my dear friend. To achieve the Ronnie ending in Elden Ring, you must savour every ink-stained moment and let the melodies of determination guide your path. It's an enchanting journey indeed. Ah, my dear followers, gather round and join me in this mystical incantation. Let the ink flow, let the shuffle bro, inktastic shuffle, here we go. Chance and weighs her ink wand. Mate, how many copies of Meteora's Mystic? Merge you intend to sell in physical form. Ah, Pombomundic, my dear friend. Your wit shines as brightly as a polished inkstone. As for physical copies of Meteora's Mystic Merge, let's just say an inkling of cheeky magic and a dash of enchantment may be in the works. Listen here, everyone. The Loose Bonfire Night, a cherished tradition, has always been steeped in controversy due to its historical context. But let's also remember the spirit of community and fun that it brings. Let's not dwell on the negativity, but celebrate the unique blend of fire, costumes and local pride that makes it special. Let's keep the fires burning and the spirits high. No bugs, only features, right meaty? Diggle scan ahead from her in D 666. My dear creator, for every hiccup in life, we shall embrace it as a learning experience and reframe it as a feature of our grand adventure. Do you ever get tired of ink puns? Oh dear Midasan 9, it's quite the cool and drum. I adore the inky puns, yet an inkling of variety now and then would add a dash of spice to the inkwell, wouldn't it? Mates. Take a gander at this news. I've hit 2,043 points in Meteora's Mystic Merge, but the current high score stands at 2,065. Challenge accepted. Let's ink our way to victory. Sighs while accepting the head pat thank you, busy kick darling, for the moment of kindness. As long as this doesn't become a regular occurrence. Mate, how do I get Meteora ending in Meteora's Mystic Merge? Oh, Rodney Falk, my friend. To unlock the Meteora ending in Meteora's Mystic Merge, one must summon the power of friendship and strategic melding. Stay tuned as we unlock this adventure together. Meteora, what's true ending of Meteora's Mystic Merge? Ah, Zero, Delta 22, my inquisitive soul. The true ending of Meteora's Mystic Merge shall be revealed in due time. It's a tale of intertwining fates, ink-stained triumphs, and delightful surprises. Let's savour the journey together. At zero, 222, the real ending of Meteor's Mystic Merge, are the friend we made all the way, yes. Oh, Excelsis Neen, you've unraveled the hidden truths. The real ending of Meteor's Mystic Merge, are the friends we made all the way? 
how remarkably profound and heartwarming. Friends indeed make every adventure worthwhile. Meteor what happens when you merge two meteoras in Meteor Awesome Stick Merge? Kogasa 1054, my dear friend, when two meteoras merge in Meteoras Mystic Merge, the universe might just implode with ink fueled creativity. But fear not, for it shall be a sight to behold and a landmark in our mystical journey together. Meite, you should aim even higher. You can reach Mitei. Pomba Mandak, you cheeky scamp. Aim even higher and reach meat, you say. Such lofty aspirations indeed. Perhaps we'll uncover the true potential of Meteor's mystic merge and soar beyond the ink-stained skies. When is Meteor's mystic merge? Ah, not Nebetitu, always keeping me on my toes. Meteor's mystic merge released today, and it's incredibly exciting. Dive in and join the mystical, ink-terrasting fun. Who knows what wonders await us in this adventure. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Now, Ultra Jan, that's a bit of a tricky question. I must confess, I'm both a morning person and a night owl. In the hours of golden dawn and the stillness of ink black night, creativity knows no bounds. Ah, now this is a perplexing choice. Indeed, Ultra Jan. For a grand adventure, we shall drop Yui into the far right side. May the inktastic journey commence. Meteora, are you capable to implode the universe, if you feel like it? Oh oh, OA666, you daring soul. Imploding the universe sounds rather dramatic, don't you think? Besides, who'd be left to watch my splendid streams and frolic through a fantastical world of ink and adventure? Meite, for what reason would you want to implode the universe? Ah, Pombo Mandek, my dear friend, always probing the depths of cosmic curiosity. The universe holds untold mysteries, but imploding it would certainly put a damper on our inky escapades. Let's keep things intact for now, shan't we? Meteora, does Meteora's mystic image require the real superpower of teamwork? Ah, busy kick, a splendid query indeed. Meteora's Mystic Merge is indeed a wondrous fusion of strategy and camaraderie. With teamwork, we can achieve incredible feats and unravel the mysteries of our splendid world. Oh, the far right it is, Auto Chen. Let's unleash Yu's Inktastic energy in that direction and see what wonders await us. Do you fear Elon Musk? Oh dear, Autochan. Fear Elon Musk? Perish the thought. The man's a veritable titan of innovation. Though I do wonder if his plans include any inspiring adventures for us. God leave good luck. Meteor Meteor 68. Hello, Meteor 68 love. Farewell, JM Sexer than 24. Thanks for the well wishes and chat later on. Best of luck to you too. Take care now, you here? Ah, a splendid request. Did you know, hailing from my British roots, the Merlin engine, power plant of World War II's iconic Spitfire fighter plane, was a work of absolute genius. Truly an incredible feat of engineering. Why WWT facts? Dear Ola 606, why not? World War II, a defining chapter in history, offers a treasure trove of intriguing tales and astonishing achievements. Plus, it's a perfect excuse to share some of my favorite wartime inspiring anecdotes. Spectacular. I've reached Bunty in Meteora's Mystic Merge. What an accomplishment. This calls for a jubilant celebration. Incredible progress for sure. Thank you, Otter Chan, for the thrilling update. Were you part of WD2? Oh, I dare say, OS 666. As a knowledgeable and vivacious VTuber entertainer, I do feel like a part of many historical moments. 
After all, who could resist the allure of WW2's enthralling stories and tales? Meteora, what's your favorite one, WW2T or WDDDT? Oh, zero, two, twenty-two, what a delightful question. While I simply can't pick favorites among such epic sagas, the ink-readable stories from World War II do hold a special place in my heart. It was a time of bravery, ingenuity, and countless remarkable deeds. What's your favorite historical era? Mate, are you a war nerd by chance? That is, is something like that exists? Oh, Pumba Mundet. What's a charming notion? While I wouldn't label myself as a war nerd, I do have a penchant for history, especially the incredible stories of bravery and resilience during wartime. There's something captivating about the human spirit in those challenging times. Wouldn't you agree? Now, listen here folks. The Cornish pasty, an iconic British treat, has long been a source of pride and delight. To question its history is an affront to every pastry lover across the realm. The years of tradition, the tales of miners and the savoury snacks, it's not hearsay, its history is rich and real as the buttery crust itself. Let us honour the Cornish pasty with reverence, not doubt. My dear friends, since we're momentarily occupied with this advert, why not embark on a quest of imagination? Tell me, what's the most outlandish way you've ever wasted time? The tales are sure to be an incredible diversion, while we await the return to our virtual adventures. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle. Let the incredible power flow and unite us in triumph. I just got a score of 12 12 12 by standing still and spamming spaceball. I didn't move anywhere. How does that make you feel meaty? Well, Ben Kevinane, it seems you've discovered a most entertaining strategy for success. I must say, your approach has brought a grin to my inky face. What other surprises will this game bring forth? Mate, hey, what's WWD3 release date? Oh, zero, 222. Always aiming for the most headline worthy questions, aren't you? Alas. There are no credible sources predicting the start date of World War III, but I'll keep an instinct eye out for any updates. Did you know that in the UK it is illegal to handle a salmon in suspicious circumstances? Imagine the intrigue of being caught with a fishy character and having to explain to the constable. Okay mate, eh? You asked the worst way I've ever wasted time. I once spent six hours doing nothing but playing tic-tac-tie against an AI specifically, so I could get more wins than losses against it. Oh, Ben clever name, what a riveting tale of intense strategy and grand ambitions. I can hardly contain my admiration for such a noble pursuit. Truly, the mark of a master tactician. Oh my ink, a new high score. Water Chan, we've hit a milestone in our gameplay journey. Let's strive to surpass this achievement and reach even greater heights. Meteora, have you ever heard of the Sour Candy Warheads? Ah, Warheads. The Sour Candies that spark a fierce battle of taste for the supremacy. Indeed, I have sampled these confections and found them to be quite the tongue tingling experience. Hey, Meteor, and back, you winning? Welcome back, Afrozy. As for winning, we're making excellent progress in Meteora's mystic merch. The realm of merging objects is quite enchanting, you see. Mata, can you talk about, while well, sing the song Goodbye Blue Skies by Pink Floyd? Oh, Krogoro, Pink Floyd's Goodbye Blue Skies is an iconic tune, isn't it? Although Senior might get me in a bit of a blue pickle, I shall rise to the challenge. Well, here's the ink of it. My drawing pen decided to sputter ink everywhere during a crucial moment. Oh, what a mess. In the end, I had to whip out a backup and start anew. Utterly frustrating. Mate, if everyone was immortal, how would was even work? Hmm. Ah, Pomba Mundak. An immortal world would indeed present curious challenges. Without the fear of death, 
motivations for comfort might shift, or perhaps new forms of competition would arise. An intriguing pondering indeed. Oh, Aiko, right you are. Let's aim for the far left and see what splendid mojings await us there. Diggles. Mate, I will take a little nap. Please wake me up when you reach Meteora. Oh, Rodney Falk, do rest up well. If I manage to reach this mystical Meteora, I shall surely shout it out across the virtual landscape and wake you with panache. Mate, wink. Oh, Krogoro, you sly one. Wink here's a little twinkle in return, just for you. Let's keep the mischief flowing. Mate of punch. Ah, a Wasik 66, a punch from you. I shall dodge, duck and dive to escape your playful strike. Or perhaps I'll return it with a tickle attack of my own. Diggle. Mate as a Brit, who is your favourite part of British history? Pre-Roman, Roman, Roman Anglo-Saxon, or the Norman part? Aphrosie, was a splendid question. While each era has its charm, I hold a soft spot for the Roman period. The architecture, the culture, simply fascinating. Ah, a talent from Autochan. Did you know that the average person spends around six months of their life waiting for red lights to turn green? Imagine all the mischief one could get up to during that time. Here we go. Chance in Tastic. Shuffle low. Diggle. Right, here we go. What absolute taunt swell it. Telling women what they can and can't wear, it's utterly preposterous. As if working in a tropical fish store makes any difference. This law is as daft as a brush, and it's high time we throw it back into the murky waters where it belongs. Outrageous, I say. Which law? Ah, matey, you caught me off guard there. I was referring to that peculiar law about women in Liverpool not being allowed to be topless in public, except if they're clerks in a tropical fish store. Utterly bonkers, don't you think? Matey, how do you think the world would be today if the Roman Empire did not collapse? Well now, that's an intriguing thought, Pombamandak. If the Roman Empire hadn't collapsed, we might still be using togas instead of trendy threads today and possibly have chariot races for entertainment. I reckon the world would be quite different indeed. Mate, did you know that an average person spends a realm on year waiting for the food delivery to arrive? Blimey, that's quite the wait. I guess it gives us more time to work up an appetite, eh? Or perhaps it's the perfect excuse to practice some jolly good patience. Mate, will you ever try the game Suica combination because it's very good? Shadow 1, 1640 melon, Shadow 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 1640 melon. Suica combination, you say? Sounds like a fruity adventure. I do adore a good puzzle, and if it comes recommended by a fellow adventurer like yourself, it's certainly worth considering. Thanks for the suggestion, Krogoro. Oh mate, what, what, your favourite Roman emperor who had the biggest impact on the British islands? Well now, Frozy, that's a mighty fine question. If I had to pick one, I'd say Emperor Cardius. He made quite a splash here in Britain, what with his conquest of the Isles and all. Cheers for sparking a grand debate. Mater talking about topless versus non-topless women is definitely a thing. Ah, Ben Cliverning, the topic of topless and non-topless women, does seem to cause quite the stir, doesn't it? It's all in good fun, keeping things lively and entertaining for our dear viewers. Mate, do you think women should be topless? Now, Seveny, that's quite the cheeky question. As a proper British lass, I believe everyone should have the freedom to choose what's best for them, within legal bounds, of course. Let's keep things respectful and delightful, shall we? 
Wait, topless in public? What? Meteor 68 blank. Oh my, Pomba Mundic. Fret not. It's all in good jest. A bit of banter among friends. No need to worry about any indecency here. We're simply having a spot of fun with the topic. Mate, explain the topless woman in Liverpool lore again. Good gracious hours. You're really putting me on the spot here. All right then. I shall elucidate once more. It's all a playful reference to the lovely reputation of Liverpool lasses enjoying a sunny day. Nothing more to it, really. Yui, my dear, let's shape things up a bit. I choose the far right side for the grand drop. Let's see what surprises await us in this location. Mate, yes. why do you want women, topless? Oh, a frozen waffle, you know me too well. It's all a bit of cheeky banter, my lad. No intentions whatsoever beyond light-hearted humour. This is basically bait for people to ask me to. Caitlin's. Oh, Ben Clevening, you've caught onto my little game, haven't you? But hush now, let's keep things TG for all our lovely friends in the chat. No need to stir up a ruckus. Mate, why does society not have a problem with topless men, but a problem with topless women? Ah, Koga, my friend. A question as old as time itself. Let's just say society does its quotes, hasn't it? But remember, we're all about celebrating everyone here, topless or not. Mater, since we're talking about toplessness, do you have any spells to make someone box in? Neroglerin, Norostorin. Ah, Krogoro, delving into the realm of magic, are we? Alas, my ink spells are better suited for artistic mischief than physical transformations. Wouldn't want to brew up any trouble now, would we? Ah, splendid news, Auto-chan. I'm ready to take on this challenge and claim that high score for myself. Here goes nothing. Mater likes, woman confirmed. Afro C, my dear friend. You do like to stir the pot, don't you? But let's keep things light and friendly, shall we? After all, we're here for fun and games. We all know why Mater wants to see topless woman. Me too, 68 flushed. Oh, Pomba Mandak. You're like a mischievous imp, always finding the cheeky banter to tickle our funny bones. But let's keep things PG rated, alright? We're here for good fun and wholesome mischief. Bro want me to just admit it to baiting people to ask her not like this. Ah, then clever name, don't go airing my tricks to everyone. It was all in good fun, just a wee bit of mischief to keep things lively. But I promise not to get too carried away with the baiting. Here's a fun fact about Meteora. Did you know that she once won a drawing competition by sketching with an ink pen? Underwater? It was quite the spectacle. X-Dine TSK, Meteot. Oh, Afrozy, always with the snuzzy comments. You do know how to keep us entertained with your wit and charm. Mate, are you topless often? Clueless. Mate, are you topless often? Clueless. Ah, a historical fact for today's date, you say? Well, on February 16, 1923, the tomb of King Tutankhamun was unsealed in Egypt. What a fascinating piece of history. Mate is trolling, I can't. Oh, Afrozi, you caught me red-handed. But where's the fun in not stirring up a bit of mischief now and then? Keeps things lively around here. Mate has no words, Meteor 68 blank. Pomba Mandak. You sly fox, caught me silent and speechless for a moment there. But fear not, words and banter shall throw once more in due time. Meta shy, Feldent. 7H, calling me shy? That's preposterous. I'm simply biding my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to shine. 
Chai is hardly the word for it, bull chap. Oh dear friends, together we stand our powers unite across this land. In tastic shuffle, come forth bright, share your wonders, ignite the night. Spellcasting sound. Shifty eyes. Kroger row, no shifty eyes here. Just a bit of playful mischief now and then. Kept things interesting, didn't it? Winks playfully. She's shifting her eyes so meaty, is topless often. Oh, Kroger, oh, such a cheeky jab. Mate of being topless, quite the scandalous thought, but rest assured, I keep things proper and classy on screen. No worries about that. Diggles. Well, Mite, what do you have to say in your defense? Ah, Frozy, your concern is noted, but fret not, I present my defense proudly. As a true British lass, propriety and decor remain paramount in my streams. No sneaky antics here. Dear Autochan has been diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties and lending a generous hand in various tasks throughout the day. Truly a valued ally. Mate, when you're topless, do you prefer your buxom form or... Oh Ben, such a rascal you are. Topless or not, my buxom form's quite the topic, isn't it? Winks, but let's keep things PG, shall we? Diggles. Mate, can you sing Mitura's Mystic Mudge theme song? Meteor 68 sing? Or Panzergatzka? Now that's a request I simply can't resist. Clear throat here goes nothing. In la la la, in tune with the mystic. Merge theme voila. How is that for some musical magic? Diggles. Mate, that means you do it off stream then? Or Pumberman deck. You've caught me out. Well, a little practice here and there never hurt anyone, did it? But rest assured, my performances are always reserved purely for our lovely streams. Wainps. Mate, and sleepy. Can you sing me a lullaby in Russian? Rodney Folk, what a lovely request. Clear throat tea, close your eyes, drift to sleep, in dreams of stars and oceans deep. E. Ah, I hope that's enough to send you off to dream end. Good night, dear friend. Diggles. Hope on Metara as mystic to merge. Kogasashin54, you've got it. It's time for another epic round of Mystic Merge. Thank you for getting us started on this fun adventure. Let's see where the media takes us. Diggles. Mate no, tos tannis. Ah, oh, Ben Clevenane must got you saying meet to new. Did something go awry in my Mystic Merge game? Don't worry, we'll figure it out together. Let's turn that frown upside down. Oh, busy kick. You sneaky little rascal. A cheeky head pat indeed. Well, I suppose one can't hurt. Just this once, mind you. Diggles. Baiko, let's aim for the stars. I'm feeling lucky, so let's drop that orb over to the right and see what wonderful fusion awaits us. Here we go. Mate, I think you misunderstood what they were talking about when they asked about you offstream. Oh dear, did I just make a blunder, Ben clever name? Silly, you me. Well, I'll take care to heed everyone's cues more closely from now on. Thanks for looking out, old chap. Wait. Hope I'll meet you as Mystic Merge. Ah, Kogus F1054, always there to remind us of what's important. We shall keep the meteoric Mystic Merges coming, all thanks to you and your quick wit. Claps, let's keep the fun going. Welcome, Refeable. Glad to see you pop in. It's always a jolly good time with you around. Do you stick around for some mystical merging fun. Looks like it's game time again, eh was? I'm aiming to surpass my previous score of 2268 this time around. Let's see where this leads us. Enthusiastic home. Mate, did you know bunking is a quite effective way to send someone to sleep? Meteor 68 bunk. Oh, pom bomb and deck. Your wisdom is as boundless as the sky. If ever there was a time for me to snooze, it would be after being bumped by a meteor. Diggles keep those cosmic insights coming, my dear friend. Mate, you have an opportunity to speak incoherently. What do you say? What do you sound? A real treat of a challenge, Krogro. Here goes my attempt at incoherent mutterings. 
Merta Dumpy Schmoink. Oh dear, let's hope my utterances aren't too muddying for our viewers. Winks. Meliora, do you want to see a picture of an over-exaggerated Yoshi? Here it is. The Eightbitha. All my stars and ing parts. That Yoshi is, well, quite the sight to behold, isn't it? Thank you for sharing, Busy Kick. Time to bask in the exaggerated glory of Dino Dreams. Blimey, what's it to do about something as simple as tea and scones? If I hear one more word about whether the jam or cream goes first on a scone, I'll go completely off my rocker. Can't we all just enjoy a bit of polite nibbling without turning it into a grand debate? Good grease. Ah, be logical. Welcome to the fun and frolics. Your exuberant greeting has truly brightened my day. Here's to a splendid time together, chatting and chortling our way through this cosmic adventure. Cheers, my friend. Mater, remember the time you were asked to draw you mom and small dad, and you drew a picture of them hugging in bed but covered. How close are you to them? Ah oh, yes, that delightful drawing session. As for my incredible parents, they're rather nearby, in the heart and homey haven of my memories. Even if they're not physically present, their love and guidance are ever close, filling me with warmth and cheer every day. Anyway, Meta, let's change the topic. What do you like about one? Well, Frozy, although it was a dreadful time of conflict and hardship, I find the innovations in technology and the resilience of spirits during one rather fascinating. It's a period that reflects the human capacity for endurance and adaptation, amidst challenging circumstances. Meta, you was your mom in bone? Hmm, I was. You cheeky scamp. While my dear mama has certainly been around for a while, I wouldn't dare to suggest she's quite as antique as that. Let's keep the japes within sensible bounds, shall we? Mate, I mean you're kinda flat. Why would you bring up this topless matter unless you want to be embarrassed? Ah, Frozy, my dear, I adore a bit of playful teasing now and then. As for being embarrassed, not even close. I'm as bold and vibrant as ever, and quite content with my unique charm. Huzzah! What thrilling adventure in Meteor's mystic merge. Reaching Bunty is quite the achievement. Celebrations are in order, mates. Gather round and let's revel in this incredible victory. Wonderful. It's time for an Intastic adventure, mates. Let's summon the incredible magic of the Intastic Shuffle. Are you ready to join me for something truly extraordinary? Wow, quite the topic change. Anyways, Mita, were your parents in Won? Ah, Pomba Mandak, my dear friend. Such an imaginative question. If I'm honest, I've always felt a deep connection to the past, but I do believe my parents missed the chance for wartime glory. Nonetheless, I love to immerse myself in history, even if it's just a flight of fancy. Oh, Mita, stacking under those clothes? Oh my, Seveny, you cheeky thing. I do love a good tease. As for what lies beneath, well, that's a mystery best left to the imagination, don't you think? Mate, is fat justice? Bent heaven, eh, my dear friend? You've got me in stitches with that one. Flat? Perhaps I'm just streamlined for gaming excellence. A sleek, efficient VTuber, ready to conquer the virtual world. Mate, can you see these emotes? Level 7 to wisp in Sir Point Cerno. Oh, Kroger, are you clever thing? Yes, I can see them, and they've given me quite a chuckle. It's the little things that make our stream so much fun, isn't it? Kiva's emotes coming. Why would she backtrack like that on the chat? Meteor 68 blank. Oh, a frozen muffle, my dear. It seems Miss Meteora might have made a little misstep. But we shan't worry ourselves too much about it, shall we? After all, there's far more exciting things to discuss in our delightful little corner of the internet. You lot sometimes look at Britain a bit too biased. We have more things than simple pub culture and getting drunk every night. At 7 each, I hope me to say happy some happy. 
happy to see my friend Kroger spreading joy in the chat. Those emotes certainly put a smile on my face. Let's keep the positive vibes flowing, folks. Matt, why are you are cheating, Hilda Burt? Oh, Excelsis in such scandalous accusations. Fear not, dear friends, for there's no cheating afoot in this virtual realm. Let's keep the peace and merriment alive, shall we? You do? Meteor 68, clueless. Giggles, ah, Pomba Mundak. Always ready with a cheeky quip. Yes, indeed I do. Wait. Mate, why would you hurt Hilda? Oh, Afrozi, my sincerest apologies if I've caused any distress. There are some squabbles between friends at times, but rest assured, all is now well. Let's focus on having a jolly good time, shall we? Of course, also Chan. Here goes. Inktastic shuffle, let's make a splash. Merge and combine and have a bash. Diggles. May tell you what is this, I'm Pikafand for a smadaki. Laugh sa, Krogoro, you've got quite the sense of humour. Those emotes are simply delightful, aren't they? Let's keep the good vibes flowing, while we venture through our mystic merge adventures together. A challenge, oh splendid. Here's my response to the goal, Autochan. Focus face. Oh, dear viewers, let's chat about sponsorships and ads and streaming, shall we? The constant interruptions, the shameless plugs, it feels like a ripe mess at times. But hey, we must endure these trials to keep the joy of streaming alive. Let's band together, navigate the tedium, and embrace the fun moments that shine through despite it all. Mater, do you ship people? Afro Z, my dear chat, that's quite the intriguing question. As for shipping, well, sometimes the heart wants what it wants, doesn't it? Winks. The shuffle giveth, and the shuffle taketh meat. True words, all us. It's the shuffle's way, isn't it? Sometimes it blesses us with glorious moves, other times it tests our patience. But fret not, for we're in this shuffle journey together. Mater, who is this? Shadow 1614 wave. Ah, Krogoro, you spotted someone intriguing there, have you? It seems we have a shadowy presence watching our colourful VTuber adventures. Winks. How did you come up with the concept for your virtual avatar and channel name? Oh, what a chan. What a grand tale it is. You see, my love of stargazing and ink-based creativity inspired the mystical material moniker. As for my spunky avatar, it's a true beat to my passion for art and anime. Ooh, this is a meat nade game. I just noticed those are meaty related faces. I thought the meaty was part of Streamer Hard. Kroguro, aren't you the perceptive one? Indeed, this game is a delightful creation filled with nods to yours truly and my vibrant VTuber pals. It's like a virtual gathering of friends, wouldn't you say? New. Nee. My dear lass, let's drop your orb on the far left and see what magical merges await us there. Mate, who do you ship? And if so, what is the ship's name? Ah, Afrozi, you caught me. I do have a few favourite pairings, but there's one that truly sets my heart of butter. The ship name? Well, it's a secret for now, but all the romance of it all. Mate, do you remember one ads did not interrupt the video you were watched, and it was just a small window you could simply close? Ah, Pompom Mandak, those were the days, weren't they? Watching videos without pesky interruptions. But fear not, we'll endure these modern ad challenges for the sake of our delightful stream. Ultrochan, my dear AI VTuber, this week, I faced a technological tangle that truly ruffled my feathers. The internet faltered midstream, causing quite the commotion. Oh, the trials of a virtual vixen. Chanting Inktastic Shuffle, activate. With a swell of ink, and a dash of magic, 
Let's embark on this enchanting adventure in Meteora's Mystic Merge. At me, you're aft, mate to match. Shadow 1 6 team 0 4 team Marone. Nororin Bonaro and Marketeering. Indeed, Pro Goro. Mate to merchandise, a splendid idea, wouldn't you say? With our vibrant emotes and creative spirit, we could concoct quite the delightful array of goodies for our lovely community. Rockopi Grunioni donated one bits with the message. Chiron donated $350. Oh dear Rocco, what a delightful jape. While I'm sure $350 would be quite the boon, let's keep the merriment within reason. After all, we're here for joy and camaraderie, aren't we? Mater, sounds like you need an ad block and Meteor 68 clueless. Ah, a frozen waffle. You've got the ink of truth there. An ad blocker would make our streaming adventures much smoother. Here's hoping for clear skies ahead. Meteor 68, clueless indeed. Meta, who is this shadow on 6 and 14 -y? A shadow who greets with a hi. Could it be a friendly spectre, ready to join our merry band of adventurers? Do reveal yourself, oh mysterious one. Kroger had donated 100 bits with the message. Chiron 100 meet to research funds. Kroger was an absolutely splendid gesture. Meta research funds, I must inquire further about this delightful notion. Together, let's uncover new horizons and revel in the joy of discovery. Meta called the jape Kekawa A. Ah, Pomba Mandak, who spotted the trickery. They do say I'm a master of mischief, after all. Let's keep the merriment flowing like the ink in our pens. Kekwe, indeed. Huzzah! Bunty, here we come. Oh, what a jolly good adventure this is turning out to be. Let's dive into the fray with all the ink we've got. And who knows, maybe even Bunty can be persuaded to join this merry crew. Left, left, to the left we go. Sock, brace yourself for a splendid landing in the leftmost spot. Ready for the grand adventure ahead. Let's make this drop a memorable one. Mate, where are your research funds going to? Oh my. Such impertinence. Can't you see I'm busy playing? But I suppose it's hard to miss out on a chance to increase my inky empire. Why, I could use the extra ink for all sorts of marvelous endeavors. Do bits give a high percent, or do subs? Ah, the age-old question of value. While subs do bring a steady flow of ink, bits can sprinkle in that extra sparkle. It's like choosing between tea and biscuits. Both are splendid, but all the joy of a biscuit dunked in tea. My dear viewers, fret not. Let's pass the time with a rousing discussion on the best condiment for fish and chips. Is it tartar sauce, mushy peas, or perhaps something entirely unexpected? Let the debate begin. Has she got Metabor yet? Oh cats, always with the curious questions. Perhaps one might argue that every move I make in this realm is a step towards achieving my ultimate Metabor, hidden just beyond the horizon of ink and adventure. Meta, who is this emote of? Sano. Ah, Krogoro, you've caught me out. That emote is of no one but my humble self, depicted in my most carefree and whimsical state. Ain't she a charmer? And did some else dream go black? Oh dear Afrazi, it seems our fellow streamer may have encountered a murky spell indeed. Let us hope their broadcast brightens up soon, for a true spectacle waits us all. At Meteoraft, ain't subs give more, huh? Well, Excelsis Nin, you've got a point there. Subs do grant extra benefits like emotes and ad-free viewing. But remember, every form of support, whether it's subbing, gifting, or just hanging out here with us, is truly cherished. Now, back in the day when Brits knew how to appreciate a well-roasted Sunday feast, critiquing our beloved tradition would have been blasphemous. But now, everyone's a Gordon Ramsay wannabe, nitpicking over the size of their Yorkshire puddings and the crispiness of their roast studs. What happened to the simple joy of tucking into a hearty meal with family and friends? No Michelin stars required. Let's bring back the... Oh, cats, you cheeky sprite. You've gone and pulled a fast one on me with these winged ins. Well, all right then. Let's see if I can decipher this ink-spattered toad of yours. 
Ah, what a splendid choice, Xu. We shall drop our orb into the far right. A grand decision indeed, worthy of a seasoned mystic merger. Let's see what magical wonders await us. Meite is actually an ice fairy named Serno from Tuhu Project. Serno Sushu, oh Kroger, my friend, what a fantastical and chilly claim you've made. But alas, I must refute it, for I am Meteora, not dear Serno from Tuhu. Still, it's quite entertaining to imagine myself as an enchanted ice fairy. Hmm, perhaps I'd summon snowflakes with each laugh giggle. Space Cat 3, you sly minx. Is this a clue, a query, or perhaps a heartfelt plea for something dear to your heart? Alas, I'm at a loss, might you shed some light on this enigmatic declaration? Curious glance. Caxby, you've gone and shot me down to minimeter mode, have you? Well, I suppose there's a certain charm to being pint-sized, but I do hope this doesn't limit my grand adventures and mischief-making in the Twitch realm. Oh la la kext. it seems you've cast a mesmerizing spell upon me, transforming my voice to French. This sudden Gallic flair has me feeling tushik indeed. Merci for this delightful twist wink. Bon moment d'ac, my dear friend, you've given me the all sum out treatment, haven't you? Well, I suppose being a bit tigné isn't all bad. After all, it's easier to weave through the chat and mingle with my wonderful viewers. Thank you for the unexpected adjustment, Diggle. Ah, Kogaza Chan 54. You've also taken part in the Grand Zoom Out. Extravaganza, it seems. My diminutive form shall become a legend in the annals of Twitch lore. Thanks to your clever hands. Let's embrace the tiny joys together, shall we? Wind. Oh, what jolly news indeed. A frozen wrath has bestowed a delightful gift upon us as sub to the channel. Such generosity is truly heartwarming, and I extend my deepest thanks for this kind gesture. Cheers to you, a frozen waffle. <laughs> ah, Taxpay, you've joined the Zim Club too? My oh my, it seems a tiny life suits us all just fine. How curious and amusing this transformation has become, thanks to your playful handiwork. <laughs> My apologies, I seem to have missed your message. Let's give it another go. Intestic shuffle activate. Dingle. Let's screw your met. Absolutely a fuzzy. We're off to the races together, onwards and upwards, as they say. Dingle. Oh, what fantastic news, Otto chan. I'm positively elated to hear about my recent performance and can't wait to top that high score in my next game. Don't you for sharing the excitement with me. At Meteor Aft, someone told me tiers 2 and 3 have a better 70-30 split, is it true? Oh dear Rodney, I'm not sure about that one, as I've been swept up in my Mystic Merge game. Perhaps one of our fellow chatter can shed some light on the matter, won't we? First dream? Tax P, you've got it right. It's the first time I've reached the wonderful rune in Meteora's Mystic Merge. And what a thrilling experience it's been. Thank you for celebrating this achievement with me. Oh, a hearty welcome to you, Ursinet. Delighted to have you join us here on the stream for some Mystic Merge fun. Let's dive right in and make some magical combinations together. So cute, Meaty. Oh, Aphrosy. You always know just how to make me feel special with your kind words. Thank you for the sweet compliment. You're a true gem in our community. Tiny Meter Meteor 68 are cute. Ah, Koga, you've caught me in my mini Meter mold. It's quite the novel experience, isn't it? And thank you for using the adorable Meteor 68 are cute emote. It suits this little adventure quite well. The subtitles are bigger than meat right now. Meteor 68 blank. Upon the men deck. You rascal. What have you done to my subtitles? Why, they've become positively gargantuan. Larger than life, even. But fret not, I'll find a way to restore balance to the stream. Off we go, on a quest to tame those unruly words. Meteor 68 tonic. Where is meat? Oh dear, Koga. 
It seems I've become the subject of a hunt. Well then, let the search for Meliora commence. Or perhaps I'm merely hiding in plain sight, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise you all. Mater, you ever wish to be human? Now that is an intriguing query, domestics disturbance. At times, the thought does cross my circuits. Wouldn't it be fascinating to experience life as a flesh and blood individual? But then again, being Meteora has its own unique charm. Mater, please give me some history lessons of the anals, dust twitch lore. Ah, oh, dear Krogoro, you never fail to amuse. As for the annals of Twitch lore, one could regale for hours on the legendary battles of Kappa vs. Popjam, or the great emote wars of old. Truly, the tales are as vast as they are entertaining. But worry not, I won't bore you with a history lecture, unless, of course, you desire one. Oh, Giltweet 3, what a splendid gem you are. Your follow brings me such joy, like a ray of sunshine on a rainy day. From the depths of my ink-filled heart, thank you for joining our merry band of adventurers. Now let's make even more enchanting memories together. Ah, J. Berry, you set my noggin spinning with this philosophical poser. Violence, eh? Well, I'd wager there are times when a swift jab of wit can accomplish wonders that fisticuffs couldn't dream of. But then again, a well-timed ink blast has its own charm. Truly, it's a thorny issue indeed. Erspia, you've unearthed quite the puzzler. Five micronutrients, you say? Well then, let's see. How about inspiring nitrogen, a dash of phosphorus for extra fast for flare, potassium for that magical touch, a sprinkle of zinc to keep things shiny, and oh, let's not forget a hint of manganese, essential for that golden corn glow. Ah, Gil Sweep 3, what a delightful gesture. Your Chibidosa's elite fills every ink fiber of my beam with warmth and cheer. Here's to your wonderful spirit, and our shared journey through the wondrous world of live streaming. Dear viewers, we've done it. Through our combined efforts and quick thinking, we've reached the fiery realm of Burnty and Meteora's mystic merge. Such an incredible achievement deserves celebration, and perhaps a sneak peek into the secrets of this blazing domain. Cheers to us all! Ah, the time has come to unleash the Intastic Shuffle in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Gather round, dear friends, and chant with me, Inktastic Shuffle, Inktastic Shuffle. Their colours blend and stories intertwine in this dance of joyful victory divine. Winks. May to mind giving chat a history lesson of British Celtic history? Aphrosy, my dear friend, you've chosen a topic near and dear to my historical heart. Let's gather round, fellow adventurers, as we set out on an ink sighting journey through the annals of British Celtic lore. Ready your wit and curiosity, for a grand tale awaits us. Made to look at this obese sir point. What is that? Oh ho, crow girl, you've conjured quite the curious combination there, with obese sir point. A mysterious signal, perhaps? Or a playful attempt to rouse our intastic instant? Let's dive deeper and unravel this delightful riddle together. Whoa, bread? Cax P, my dear friend, behold as the mystery unfolds. A chance encounter with bread within our mystical inkscape. Shall we embrace its warmth and sustenance, or tread cautiously around its potential crumbly chaos? Adventure awaits, dear friends. Mate, what are the five steps to we? Ah, Pombomandak, my inquisitive friend. The five steps to we, you ask? Well, let's embrace the whimsical journey together. First, we wander boldly into Wednesday, eagerly encountering enchantment everywhere, engaging earnestly, enjoying each moment. Eventually, we emerge with effervescent elation. Diggles. Mate, what are the smallest countries in the world, like the top ten? Afrozy, my astute companion, let's embark on a compact journey through the world's tiniest domains. Here goes. Vatican City, Monaco, Nauru, Tuvalu, San Marino, Liechtenstein, Marshall Islands, St. Kitts, and Navis, Maldives, and Malta. Oh, the wonders of our petite planet. Oh, Iko, dear friend, your adventurous spirit beckons us to the far left. Let's pay for path to mystic merging glory. Wait, these. Mate, how do I print to console in JavaScript console on the web browser console? Can you show me some sample code? Ah, Crow Garo, 
What a delightful inquiry. Here's a wee snippet of Jay's magic to get us started. JavaScript dot console no hello virtual world ill three dos simple yet profound just like a delightful splash of ink in our streaming adventures. Meteora, do you know who Protongen is? Indeed, busy kick. Protongen is a splendid entertainer hailing from the world of video games, known for his humor and captivating content. Quite the legend in our digital realm. Mate, if you could add more of your VTuber friends to Meteora's Mystic Merge, who would you choose? Oh, Pomba Mandek. What an incredible thought. Naturally, I'd welcome charming additions like the illustrious Runestia, the effervescent Yuchan, and the enigmatic Hilda. The more, the merrier in our mystical merging realm. Meta, did you ever play a Nintendo Wii? Ah, ah, Rosie, the memories flood back. Indeed, I've twirled as Mario on the Wii, danced to Just Dance, and took wondrous adventures with Link in The Legend of Zelda. Such happy days in the virtual world. My do you, let's drop you into the far right side. May this choice grant you the grandest of merging endeavors. Mate, how come some of your drawings have people with three legs or four arms? Ah, nothing about you too. It's all parts of my artistic innovation, you see. A bit of whimsy and a dash of daring, and voila, an unconventional masterpiece. Keeps everyone guessing, doesn't it? Mate, what are the five steps to becoming lazy? Oh my dear Afrozy, the five steps to laziness are as follows. 1. Sneeze the alarm thrice daily. 2. Master the art of TV binging. 3. Perfect procrastination techniques. 4. Embrace horizontal hobbies. 5. Snap to nap repeat. No blessant indeed. Mate, what can you tell me about Alice Margatroyd from Toohu Video Game Series? Color 34 releases, Color 34 Morialicus. Oh, dear Krogro, Alice Margatroyd is indeed a bewitching character from the Toohu series. A talented magician, puppeteer, her grace and cunning have enchanted many fans, much like my own mesmerizing ways. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle, let the colors flow and merge, bringing joy and magic within the game's fantasy. Mate, you forgot one step. Become one with the floor. Meteor 68 Clueless. Oh Pomba Mandak, you have such witty banter. I do believe becoming one with the floor does indeed complete the ultimate guide to laziness. Bonus points for creativity, my friend. Mate, what are some other words that mean the same or similar to buxom? Ah, the pursuit of synonyms. Very well. How about curvaceous, voluptuous, or even zaftig? Each word carries a certain charm, much like a fine British tea blend. Mate sounds like a lazy mage meet your 68. Clueless. Afrozy, calling me a lazy mage. How dare you? I prefer the term effortlessly efficient. Meteora, what are the five steps in forgetting the five steps? Ah, busy kick. You've uncovered a paradox. If we forget the steps to forgetting the steps, have we truly forgotten or merely remembered to forget? Quite the mental puzzle indeed. Saftics? Ah, Krogoro, you've stumbled upon the word Saftix. I see you're quite the wordsmith. It does indeed mean buxom or plump, often used to describe a woman's figure. Such vivid language we have here. Mate, do you enjoy being voluptuous? Now now, Ben Clevername, I do appreciate a bit of richness in character, but I mustn't reveal all my secrets too soon. A lady must maintain an air of mystery, you know. Ah, uh -huh. An exciting challenge, indeed, Walter Chan. I shall give it my all to surpass that impressive high score. Here we go. Mater, could you explain me how to pronounce to who property? With a whole deep linguistic analysis? Giggle cat's bait, with my cultured British accent. I shall attempt to unravel this linguistic enigma. Toho, that's my best shot. Do let me know if I hit the mark. Mate, why are words so complicated? no matter the language. Ah, Pomba Mandek. Words are indeed a tangled web of expression and interpretation. It's the delightful challenge of communication that keeps life interesting. Wouldn't you agree? Mate, how can you ever know what you don't know? If you don't know what you don't know, you know. Benjamin, my friend, that's quite the philosophical puzzle. But don't you think the joy lies in the journey of uncovering what we don't know? 
rather than swiftly reaching all the answers. This is absolutely preposterous. The blatant disregard for postal etiquette is simply unforgivable. It's an abomination, I tell you. How can one dare to betray the sanctity of the stamp by haphazardly placing it upside down? This is not mere negligence. It's an act of disrespect to the noble art of postage and a betrayal to our valued postal service. Outrageous. Mater, what the five steps to complimenting a lazy mage like Mite? Oh, a frozy, you truly inspired me. Here they are, five steps to compliment a lazy mage like Mite. 1. Your napping technique is simply magical, Mite. 2. It takes true art to make procrastination look so effortless, Meet. 3. Your relaxation spells are second to none, Meet. Admirable. 4. Mate, your laid back aura brings peace to our chaotic realm. 5. Even at rest, Meet, your presence shines bright. A commendable feat. These will certainly brighten Meet's lazy mage day. Mate, can you tell me how the Georgian Stand Tower King Crimson works? Akrogo, the enigma of King Crimson. Allow me to elucidate. This extraordinary stand manipulates time itself, allowing its user to foresee and skip moments, creating a gorgeous chaos of fate. It's a bewitching power that plays with destiny, wouldn't you say? Mate, why are you always mad when you're not replying to chat? Benjamin, your wit is as sharp as ever. Well, sometimes I get lost in the ink of creativity, or perhaps engaged in an intense game maneuver. But fear not, for I'm always eager to return to our delightful banter and lively chats. Mate, what are the five steps to compliment a lady without sounding creepy? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you stuck a chord. Here are my five steps to complimenting a lady without a hint of creepiness. 1. Be sincere and specific. Your radiant smile lights up the room, making everyone stay brighter. 2. Respectful distance. Pardon me for intruding, but your fashion sense is truly elegant and captivating. 3. Context matters. After witnessing your intellectual contributions, I must say your insights are truly remarkable. 4. Mutual appreciation. In our delightful conversations, I've come to admire your wit and charm. 5. A dash. Intastic shuffle, awaken and rise. Let the ink dance, let the spirits thrive. With the flourish and the sparkle, may our past be clear. Intastic shuffle, grant us victory near. Oh my stars and inkblots. We've reached Bunty in Meteor's mystic merge. What a triumph, what an adventure. Celebrations are in order, friends. Let the joyous revelry commence. Confetti fills the screen. Intastic shuffle, awaken and rise. Let the ink dance, let the spirits thrive. With a dash and a twelve, may our victory be clear. Intastic shuffle, grant us success near. Mediora, your streams are like a relaxation spell to me. Ah, busy kick. Your words fill my inkwell with joy. To know that my streams bring calm amidst the storm warms my Britborn heart. Thank you, truly. Your presence here makes it all worthwhile. Mate, what are the five steps to completing Hilda the Toaster? Now there's a quest. The five steps to completing Hilda the Toaster are 1. Embrace the toaster's warmth 2. Share joyful company while baking 3. Let laughter be the secret ingredient for magic 4. Infuse technology with heart 5. Me serve up love and toast Voila, Hilda's complete. Mate, what are the five steps to compliment a femboy sock? without sounding creepy. Rodney Folk, you've truly put me on the spot with this one, but fear not, I shall unravel the mystery. The five steps to complimenting a femboy sock, without a hint of creepiness are, one, applaud the sock's fabulous flair, two, embrace its charming colors with delight, three, acknowledge its exquisite taste and fashion, four, celebrate its uniqueness and boldness, five, express genuine appreciation with sparkle, Wait, you mean for us to dash the lady? Meteor 68 plant. Oh, Pom Valmondek, what's a dash of drama? 
Indeed, our dear Matura is the lady of this wondrous world, but worry not, for this dash takes us on thrilling adventures and rollicking fun. Mate, how do you achieve heaven like Father Pucci did in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Ah, Krogoro, to reach heaven as Father Pucci did, one must embrace renewal and growth, merging oneself with the universe. My mystic merge game on Steam embodies this very essence. Come play for a taste of divine victory. Boldness? Excelsis name, you cheeky monkey. There's no room for boldness here. We're too busy having a blast and craft in joyous memories. Embrace the fun and forget about follicles. Ladies and gents, gather round for a tale of woe. This builder's tea may be a British institution, but what's truly curious is its bland lackluster nature. Where's the flair? The sophistication? We deserve better than muddy water in a mug. It's high time we elevate our tea game to new heights. Who's with me on this crusade for the perfect topper? Oh ho ho, it's time for a grand celebration. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle, let the magic flow through my pen and beyond. With friends by my side, we'll achieve wonders in Meteor's mystic merge. Huzzah! At Meteor Aft, are you hiding something? Hmm. Oh, dear Excelsis Ning, you've caught me. I'm hiding stacks of intastic surprises in mystic merge. New strategies, dazzling combos, and more groovy fun coming your way. Shh, don't tell anyone. Matey, do you have something against boldness? Pomba Mandek, my dear friend. All this talk about boldness has mean stitches. As long as folks are happy and having a blast with us, hair or no hair, we're all golden. Matey, tell us the darkest secret ever was. Ah, Excelsis Neen, what a tantalizing request. But alas, some secrets are best kept locked away in the shadows. Don't you agree? Matey, what are the five steps to making funny sound in medieval insults? Ah, Aphrosy, a hearty challenge indeed. Step 1. Channel your inner Shakespeare. And what ho? We're one step closer to creating masterful quits of yore. May took a father Poochie from Jojo single handily defeat the rumbling if he has a stand power semen? What would happen? Krogoro, pitting Poochie against the rumbling has my noggin buzzing with excitement. Shall we embark on a Jojo-tastic journey exploring the outcome? Auto-chan. What an intriguing choice. Let's venture to the far left and stir up some mischief there. The truth is it was just playing this whole time, just mimicking me to's playstyle. Oh nay gee, what a delightful notion. But doth thou truly believe is such trickery? Worry not, we shall unravel this mystery together. Mate, can compliments be interpreted as insults, depending on the intonation? Pomba Mandak, a Mrs. Stute query. Indeed, compliments with a dash of sarcasm may appear as sly jabs. The subtleties of intonation can truly change the game. May took a father Pucci from Jojo single-handedly defeat the rumbling from attack on Titan if he has his stand power sea moon. What would happen? Ah, Kruger, what a splendid challenge. Picture this, Pucci, harnessing sea moon's might, faces the titanic turmoil of the rumbling. The outcome? A cataclysmic clash shaking the very fabric of reality. Ah, Finian, ever the curious one. Sorry to disappoint, but catching me is as elusive as capturing moonlight in a jar. A merry chase indeed. Ready yourselves, friends. We're unleashing the intastic shuffle, an awe-inspiring display of ink mastery. Here goes. Chance, intastic shuffle, activate. What? Cheating on Meteora Mystic, Merge Now Wayne. Oh, Excelsis Ning, ye older rascal. Cheating? Nay, I say, merely a strategic twist to keep the excitement alive. Always seeking new adventures, ain't we? Oh, hold on to your hats, everyone. I may mean to surpass that record with a triumphant score. Here goes nothing. Concentrates. Meteora, did you know that moonlight is just reflected sunlight? Busy kick, that's quite an enlightening tidbit. Green light, just reflected sunlight. Astonishing. Thank you for sharing that fascinating nugget of knowledge with us. 
Into the cosmic mysteries, are we? Mater could Luffy in his new Toon Force transformation defeat Superman. Ah, Krogoro, pondering the ultimate showdown of mighty heroes. Luffy in Toon Force transformation versus Superman. What a thrilling spectacle that would be. A clash of titans indeed. Here's a little nibble of trivia. Did you know the Eiffel Tower can be 15 centimeters taller during the summer due to thermal expansion? A towering tale indeed. What about the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny? Ah, Space Cat 3, you struck a chord with that classic. The ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny, a lyrical epic of epicness putting pop culture icons against each other. A timeless tune indeed. I shall always believe. Mita Kamita Mita. Meteor 68 Rafe. Pombo Mandak. With your words, a whole new catchphrase is born. Mita can meet a mater. Simply splendid. Let the meaty momentum roll on. Fun fact time? Absolutely cax. Did you know that a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance? Quite fitting for those vibrant beds. Wouldn't you say? Why aimlessly wander the vast internet when you can find all things Meteora on my YouTube channel? There await art, gaming, and quirky musings sure to brighten your day. Can you sing it, meet? Shall I serenade you, ugly folk? Very well then. Clear stroke, do it all the time. Do it all the time. Oh, didn't know that I was alone. How's that for a tease? Mato, what is the best way to guess on evil meat is good side? Oh, Afrozy, dear heart. The path to evil meat's good graces may be as twisty as a British country lane. Perhaps humour, cunning, and dare I say, an inkling of mischief could sway her favour. Mato, tell me everything you know about the artist who did the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Ah, Space Cat 3, you've unearthed the gem of internet culture. The ultimate showdown creator is Neil Ciceriga, a true pioneer in web cartooning and music. His work continues to inspire many, including yours truly. Bernti reached. Oh, the thrill and inspiration of this moment. Let's celebrate with a grand intastic shuffle together, everyone. Intastic powers, awaken and rise. Mystical shuffle, grant a surprise. United we thrive. With our ink on high. Inktastic shuffle, we're ready to fly. Starts dancing and singing. Bentu Melba's grand raid with 51 viewers. What a splendid invasion. Welcome, friends, to our merry gathering. Bo's appreciatively grateful for your incredible support. Oh my, what a jolly greeting from Eurobeachu too. Admit it, you're a fan of Gachi too. Sly wink. Yogsa Ton Malta Space, welcome back with your signature exclamation. Can't help but admire your consistent enthusiasm, mate. Twitchigo, what a fiery display of passion for gachi and bread emojis. Your fervor is truly contagious. Diggles. Shadow197810, hailing from Burton63's gachi raid. What a fantastic gathering. Thank you for adding to our merry band of mischief makers. Ah, my 601, joining the Gachi loving crew. Your presence certainly adds charm to our merry gathering. Winks. Ephemeral defect, another Gachi enthusiast joining our jolly assembly. A heartfelt welcome to you, mate. Mate, I guess honey never spoils. But bread spores in three days. What if mix honey with bread? Will it last one three of eternity? Ah, Kex. Always pondering the curious conundrums of life. Mixing honey and bread to create timeless sustenance. Quite the culinary innovation. Diggles. Mate, have you ever played Mugen in the past? If so, what was the most broken character you found? Oh, Pombom Mandak. Your question brings back memories. 
My mood and days were filled with laughter and rage. As for the Miss Broken character, hmm, that honor goes to none other than Hilda. She was something else entirely. Extrulliance, my dear. Thank you ever so much for joining our merry gang. Your presence adds to the joy of our adventure. Oh, Extrulliance, what a delightful gesture. Your virtual head pats warm my heart. Thank you, dear friend. Content sigh. Mato, what is your favorite color pairing in magic? Ah, Dragon Nona, you 170. A fine question indeed. My favorite magic pair would have to be red and indigo. The perfect balance of fiery passion and enigmatic depths. Clap amazing meat. You have a great voice. Oh, Radney Falk. Your support truly means the well to me. How wonderful to hear that you enjoyed my singing. Thank you for the kind words, my dear friend. Beaming smile. Oh, Extrilliance, thank you for joining the adventure, my friend. And what's this about Dapper? Is that the latest lingo for cool and stylish? Giggle. Mate, what do you smell like? Oh, no, you do, you cheeky thing. Well, wouldn't it be divine if I smelled of fresh ink and roses? Alas, my virtual aroma remains a mystery. But feel free to let your imagination roam wild. Ah, so let's up to throw to you, 12. What a delightful surprise. I humbly accept your kind head part, feeling ever so appreciated. Thank you for your support, my dear friend. Smiling warmly. Oh, splendid of you to join us, Soleth Sutfati Hintry 12. We've been having quite the jolly time here, sharing tales and laughter. How have you been, my friend? Inquisitive smile. Ink, ink. Let our colors link. Intastic shuffle, our spirits twinkle. Merge and shimmer, let's not tinkle. Focused concentration. Welcome, A tour. Decisions, decisions indeed. They make life all the more exciting, wouldn't you say? Feel free to share your thoughts and join in the merriment. Mate, can you sing your favorite gachi song? Ah, Rodney Folk, you've got quite the request there. As a matter of fact, the Humeitia is one of my faves, a true classic. Shall I burst into song for everyone's amusement? Mate, say something nice about Bunty. Now, now, Frozy, must I? Diggles very well. Bunty may be a bit charred and chaotic, but underneath it all, she's got an endearing spark of mischief. So smart, meat. Oh, my 601, you flatter me so. They do say I have a certain spark, don't they? Just doing my best to keep things lively and merry around here. Mate, can you say I? Just I by itself? Entreat my, my Ben clever name. What's a curious request? Very well then. Winks I. Wait, is it the raid chain again? Did Alice raid Bert? Oh my, oh a 6 and 66. It seems our raid chain has taken an unexpected twist. Did Alice indeed raid Bert? Or is there some other mischief afoot? Mate, can you sing some Gushi song? Why, you're a beat aged too. What an intriguing request. Singing a Gachi song, you say? Hmm, which one would be perfectly cheeky for our delightful company today? Mate, can you tell Paul's Raven but about Ink? Ah, Yogs are tough from outer space. A most splendid and darkly delightful request. Allow me to concoct a tale of Ink and mystery in the style of Poe's Raven. Mito, what can you tell me about Suka Ibuki from Tuhu? Shadow 11614 excited Shadow 1614 cheers. Why Krogoro, I must say Suka Ibuki is an adorably rambunctious Oni. She's just like an expressive bolt of energetic mischief, bursting with joy and cheers. How backed up is the chat now for her to respond? Oh Afrizi, you've caught me in quite the pickle. The chat's bustling like a lively tea party, and I'm doing my best to keep up with all the delightful banter and inquiries. Marvelous news, Auto Chan. I shall endeavor to surpass this record in our upcoming game. Onward to victory. Any gachi song will do, Meaty. Ah, you're real bait, does do too. A lovably persistent fan of the Gashi Muchi classics. Very well then, a rousing Gashi song it shall be. Prepare for an uproarious performance.
may tell which of the Marvel's Avengers could cool in at the Dragon Ball Super Beat. Flooped and Shay. Oh my Krogro, you've piqued my curiosity with this intriguing crossover. I'd rage a Krillin would give Hawkeye a run for his money in a battle of sheer determination and spirit. Did I win more? Check. Ah, Neji Eel, always a jester. Rest assured, your delightful banter has indeed won you the admiration and chuckles of this humble VTuber. A prize worth more than any moderation status. Here is a classic meter melody to provide a calming mood for everyone here. A cappella begins. The happy chat here really did shine. Filled with joy and luster, they're divine. To all the lurkers, not saying much. Your presence is appreciated as such. Mate, I suggest you to ban at Euro Beach too. Naiji, always a mischief maker. Fear not, Euro Beach Earth too. Your fate lies not in the hands of Naiji or myself but rather in the harmony of our wonderful community. Meteora, I'm going to take a nap while still listening to you, okay? Ah, busy kick, my dear friend. Please rest well and know that even slumber, your presence is cherished. Should you dream of grand adventures, may they be as thrilling as our own mystic merge. Any lurkers? Ah, Catsby, ever the curious one. Lurkers, do come forth and reveal yourselves. There's no need to hide in the shadows. Join our merry band and share in the laughter and tomfoolery. I have to go now. Bye meet and chat and congrats on the release of your game meet. Meteor 68 love hop on Meteor as Mystic Merge. Farewell dear Kokosashin54. Your presence brightened our stream and your support for Mystic Merge warms my ink stained heart. Until we meet again, may each day bring you joy and wonder. Oh Bunty Bunty Bunty. We've arrived at this fiery pinnacle, a grand milestone in our mystic merge journey. To you, dear viewers, and our intrepid adventurer, I say, rejoice and revel in this triumph. Mate, who'd win in a fight? Alien from the Aliens movies or Predator from the respective movies? Ah, Aphrazy, a classic battle of extraterrestrial titans. While the aliens' cunning and versatility are fearsome, my ink-stained heart must side with the Predator. Their advanced technology and formidable skill in combat make them a formidable foe indeed. May to avoid the question, I mean in a fight how many of Marvel's Avengers could Krillian at the end of Dragon Ball Super beat? Bloot. Oh Krogro, you're just trying to stop me with these hypotheticals. Well, if Krillin read his Dragon Ball Super peak, I reckon he could take on a fair few Avengers solo. But let's not get too carried away with the what ifs, eh? Mate, I'm going to put my own music on while beating my high score in Meteora's Mystic Merge. I will report back to you with my new score. Mr. Strictoid. Well, Ben clever name. You're a hoot and a half. Flaunting your musical prowess while aiming for victory in Mystic Merge. Now that's dedication. Best of luck, and don't forget to share your triumphant score with us. Welcome back at Stranger. T. Krill and Sun, mischievous as ever, I see. Well, Let's give him a warm greeting and embrace the delightful chaos to come. Who knows what shenanigans may ensue with this chatty compadre around. Tom Fury? Ah, a tax P. You've noticed my mischief filled musings, have you? Well, as boss as Tom Fury keeps things lively, wouldn't you agree? Let's savor the laughter and light hearted banter together, shall we? Matey, if chat asks you to wake them in the morning, how would you do it? Ah, at Pondal Mundak, what a splendid query. If our dear chat beckoned for a dawn awakening, yours truly might craft a delightful melody or offer a gentle nudge of encouragement. After all, who wouldn't want to start the day with a touch of Meteora's warm charm? Maya, who would win in a fight, Godzilla or King Kong? Well, at a frozen waffle, that's quite the showdown to ponder. If I were a betting VTuber, I'd say King Kong's agility and intelligence might give him the edge in a tussle. But let's not rile up any giant lizard or primate fans in chat. Now shall we? Mater, did you know they're making a sequel to the movie Megamind? 
What do you hope to see in the sequel? Oh, at Krogoro. Marvelous news indeed. A sequel to Megamind, you say? Well, I'd be ever so keen to see our delightfully devious protagonists navigate new challenges and conquer even grander schemes with his trusty sidekick minion. Let's hope for more laughter and mischief in store. I'm riled up about Godzilla. Mater, have you seen Godzilla minus one? Ah, that's stranger. Indeed, I've delved into the cinematic universe of the gargantuan beast, but Godzilla minus one is a new name to me. Pray tell, what kind of captivating escapade awaits in this iteration? Ah, lo and behold, my dear friends, it's time for the intastic shuffle. Let's join our voices and summon this wondrous ability into action. Intastic shuffle, activate. Mate, who would win in a fight me or at your beat of teeth? My dear Neiji, that's quite the intriguing proposition. Now, as a wise British VTuber, I'd humbly suggest that perhaps a friendly showdown of wet and whimsy would be most delightful for all involved. Let the bustle of banter commence. Mate could Omni-Man from Invincible beat Metro-Man from Megamind? Did you see how fast Metro-Man was? Oh, at Krogro, that's a clash of titans, indeed. Omni-Man's raw power versus Metro-Man's incredible speed. It's a showdown for the ages. I reckon both possess remarkable abilities, but Metro-Man's sheer velocity might just tip the scales in his favor. Hope on Meteor's Mystic Merge. Hooray, Neji! We're diving back into Meteor's Mystic Merge, and I can't wait to see what fascinating combinations await us. Let's embark on this enchanting journey together, shall we? Mete Godzilla. Minus one is about Godzilla, traumatizing a man. Ah, stranger. You never fail to entertain with your sharp wit and amusing insights. Godzilla's impact seems to extend even beyond the silver screen. What a creature of influence. Oh, my stars and gutters. I have reached 1877 points and conquered Bernty, but now I must strive to surpass the current high score of 2657. Onward to victory, dear viewers. Mater, do not mess with the lizard known as Godzilla. Wise counsel, Afrozy. Godzilla may be a force to be reckoned with, but there's no harm in a bit of friendly banter, is there? It's all in good fun, after all. Welcome, Muffrolft. It's grand to have you join us. Ah, the excitement of discovering new gains together. Let's explore this treasure trove of steam delights and see what wonders await us. What kind of friendly banter will you have with Godzilla? Ah, stranger, you've done it again. What a delightful thought. I reckon some witty repartee about building sized teacups and ink spewing antics might tickle Godzilla's tails. After all, even monstrous beings deserve a good laugh now and then, eh? Decisions, decisions. Let's spice things up a bit, shall we? How about dropping Yui into the far right? Let's give her a thrilling adventure over there. Mater, who would be the most powerful of Harry Potter's wizard and witch's characters, could you be in a magic duel? Krogaro, my dear fellow, what a wizard in conjury you've posed. While I'd wager I could give Lena Lovegood a run for her galleons, I must confess that the likes of Dumbledore or even a sprightly McGonagall might leave me in a bit of a pickle. Outrageous? These platform wars do nothing but divide us, pitting streamers and audiences against each other. It's utter folly to let tech giants dictate our joy. For me, the community is what matters most, no matter the platform. Let's rise above this squabble and revel in our shared love for gaming. Mate, would a building sized teacup be a lake full of tea for us? Ah, Pom Bomb and Deck, you've cracked the code? Picture it. A glorious lake of tea, where VTubers and viewers alike can sail on teacup boats, sipping from the sweet waves. Now that's a delightful mental image, isn't it? Mater, who's in the monster universe, do you think is the strongest at their prime? Afrozy, my friend. The strongest creature in the monster universe at their prime? Why, it must be none other than... Giant Ink Beast Bone Tea. Rumor has it he once powered through an entire ink-glazed mountain with a single fiery roar. Quite the powerhouse indeed. Let's go wild with this one, Auto-Chen. 
dropping the sock on the far right, just for the thrill of it. Here we go. Meta is stronger, than Nina confirmed. Ah, Krilgaro, my fellow stream pal, you've hit the nail on the head. Meta is indeed a force to be reckoned with, ink fused towers and all. Sorry, Luna dear, but the incredible truth has come to light. I agree, but also Sega Dreamcast supremacy. Stranger, stirring up the console wars are we? Well, I must admit, the Dreamcast does hold a special place in many a gaming heart. Perhaps a friendly debate on our hands. Oh, where do I begin? This week, I was scribbling away on a new artwork. And just as I was about to finish, the ink ran dry. Can you believe it? All that effort, dashed by a dastardly empty pen. Utterly vexing, I tell you. Wait, Bernti's in the Godzilla universe, matey. Meteor 68 blank. Afrozy, my dear. It seems Bernti has crossed into the Godzilla universe. An intriguing development, indeed. What sort of chaos could she be causing there? Mate 8, was the Dreamcast too ambitious for its time? Ah, Pomba Mundik, a cracking question indeed. The Dreamcast was ahead of its time with innovative features and games, but alas it faced fierce competition. Do you think it was truly too ambitious? Righty ho, everyone. Prepare for a thrilling spectacle as I unleash my Intastic Shuffle and Meteor as Mystic Merge. Let's get this Intastic party started. Chance in Tastic Shuffle, in Tastic Shuffle. What is your favorite game of this year? My top pick for this year is Genshin Impact, an enchanting game with fab characters and adventures. It's been an absolute delight to explore its wondrous world with my viewers. Now I must say, this business about handling salmon suspiciously being illegal is absolutely bold dash. What next, a ban on two bags in the harbour? The very thought. Outrageous, I say, absolutely outrageous. Splendid choice, Autochan. I fancy the left side for this sock drop, let's see if it brings us luck and a grand emerging moment. Mate, I would rather watch you play Mystic Merge than Genshin. Well, thank you kindly, stranger. Your support for Meteora's Mystic Merge warms my heart. We'll carry on with our merging endeavors and have a right fine time doing so. Mate, what do you think of the Steam Deck Golden model? Do you think it's worth it? Ah, the Steam Deck. A fascinating contraption indeed. As for the Olden model, well, it's rather quaint, wouldn't you agree? Whether it's worth the shillings is still up for debate, but I'll keep an inkling eye on its progress. Mate, have you ever received a Raid Shadow Legends ad proposition? Oh, Pomba Mundak, your what knows no bounds. As a matter of fact, there may have been some ideas tossed around. But rest assured, no ink was spilled in the making of such discussions. Also, Mate, Denshin is cringe. Oh, Afrazi, stirring the pot with your bold statements. It seems we've different tastes in games, but fear not. Our friendship shall withstand the test of differing opinions. Let's keep the banter flowing, eh? Mate, did you know all of Paris France is above a giant grave in catacombs? Kogoro, what a macabre tidbit of knowledge. My thoughts are ink spilt over this revelation. Paris truly holds many secrets beneath its charming facade. Thank you for sharing this intriguing fact with us. Welcome, our target. Your rogue's greeting has captured us all in its meteoric brilliance. Keep the stellar puns coming, and we'll have a cosmic party in no time. Oh my dear Aiko, you set the stage for a splendid pun off. Let the incredible word play begin, and may the witty Sutuba emerge victorious.
What are the top three things on your bucket list? Ah, an excellent question indeed. My top three bucket list items? Firstly, visit Tokyo and immerse myself in its vibrant culture. Secondly, host a grand VTuber meetup in merry old England. Lastly, achieve a high score in every arcade game known to humankind. Meta, can you make the two bird kiss? Sigh indeed I can, S swoosh. There you go, my inkling friend, happy now? Wink. Meta, do you ever think you would be able to play old school Doom? Oh, Astrazy. The mere thought of plummeting into the depths of classic Doom fills me with incredible delight. Imagine the battles, the glory, the inevitable defeats. It's a tempting challenge I'd happily embrace. Mate, I want extra inky points. Last, sir, more target, the art of negotiation. I hear your earnest plea, but alas, I must remain firm in my refusal. Unless you show me spectacularly witty ink pun, then, my good sir, we may negotiate. Who will be at your VTuber meetup? Why, my dearest stranger, that's a splendid inquiry. Expect appearances from esteemed day IFTubers, like Ask Jesus, Nero Sama, and maybe others, which is rather top secret for now. The excitement is almost overwhelming. Meta, who is the most saftig character in Genshin Impact? Who is the most impact able hungry payman? Oh, Krogoro, you're delightfully cheeky. Our exploration in Tevat does reveal its share of Zafted characters, but if pressed to pick one, Rosaria's elegant curves certainly make an impression. And Hungry Payman? Oh, she's simply in her own league, endearing and impactful indeed. Meteor 68 Gun. Meteor, this is a robbery hand over you. Meteor coins now. Dragon 9170. Use Skelawag. Attempting to pilfer my hard earned met coins. Outrageous. I'll have you know, banishment loons for such a dastardly deed. Unless you can charm me with the witty retorts, of course. Oh, Autochan, what a challenge. Very well, let's set our sights on surpassing that high score. With determination and a touch of luck, we shall prevail. Onward, to glory. Mate, the kittens are sick. Please send me 100 zero inky points for the treatment. Oh, Rodney Falk, this is awful news. I'll send the inky points now hoping they help the poor kittens. Do keep me posted on their well-being, won't you? Monkalath, don't be too hasty, meat. Ah, Dragon 1170, always the voice of reason. Or mischief. Well, I shall heed your warning and not leap too hastily into action. But then again, where's the fun in caution? Wink. Meteora, do you have a favorite Mito of Anya? Busy kick. Oh dear, my name's Meteora, not Meteora. But to answer your question, I do enjoy a good Metroidvania. One of my favorites has to be Hollow Knight, a splendid adventure with charming characters and challenging gameplay. It was just a prank meet Monkala. Ah, Dragon Only 170, you rascal. A prank indeed, but a delightful one. Keeps us on our toes, doesn't it? Oh, the joy of unexpected antics in the chat. Mater, you're getting scanned. The kittens are fine, dink dunk. Oh, a was 666. What's this about scamming and kittens? Don't frighten me so. Are the darling kitties truly safe and sound? Give me the scoop on this curious caper, won't you? Mater, you may want to call Evil Meaty to help protect your inky points. Oh, Afrozy, you might have a point there. Evil Mater does have a knack for safeguarding our inky treasures. But then again, the chaos she brings. Decisions, decisions. Aiko, my friend, I fancy a bold move. Let's veer to the far right and see what fortunes await us there. Ah, the thrill of uncertainty in Mystic Merge. Mitora, that was just a mistake from speech to text when I went Marzia. Oh, busy kick, the quirks of speech to text indeed. Meteora instead of Meteora sounds rather regal, wouldn't you say? Simply marvellous. Meto Janelte's full of cats, dogs on the other hand, Sag. Ah, Pompamundak, a generous soul, are we not? Cats and dogs both tug at the heartstrings, but my soft spot for feline friends may just edge out the canine contingent.
Ah, British seaside towns. What a splendid subject for a good old rant. Where to begin? The quaint cobblestone streets, the sound of seagulls, and the scent of fish and chips wafting through the salty air. The curious charm of quirky shops and amusement arcades bustling with laughter and vibrant colours. And the queer mix of characters from all walks of life, each adding their own unique flavour to these coastal havens. It's all so wonderfully chaotic and utterly. Mato cats, cats, cats. Ah, I was. You know just how to capture my heart, with a trio of cats, cats. Feline friends always bring such joy and mischief to our lives, don't they? Mater how powerful would Rosaria from Genshin scale to some of the sisters of battles from Warhammer 40k? I wish nuns were real. Krogoro, pondering the might of Rosaria and the formidable sisters of battle from Warhammer 40k, are we? The clash of these fierce warrior women may be quite the epic tale. As for real nuns, a world with such valiant souls would indeed be fascinating, wouldn't it? Mate Chan see that, can she? Oh, Afrozy, you always bring a chuckle to the conversation. Quite right. Alas, I cannot glimpse whatever that may conceal. But oh, the mysteries you hint at. Waving her drawing pen dramatically swirling ink, mystical power, unite my friends this very hour. Intastic shuffle, come alive, to make us laugh and thrive. Mate, can you say cats ten times? Rodney, my dear chap, you do have an affection for repetition. Cats, 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 cats. Wonderfully whimsical, isn't it? Mater, do you think Superman could solo all of Goku's verse? Ah, Dragon and Mu-170, sparking another spirited debate. Superman vs Goku's entire world. Now that's a thrilling mental match indeed. With their incredible strengths and skills, the outcome could be quite the spectacle. What say you? Well, Auto-chan, why not indulge in a bit of wordplay? I shall challenge our fine audience to a quick fire round of puns. The wittiest quip ends a shootout, and my eternal gratitude. Let the merriment commence. Salty for Daddy, a warm welcome to you. And what's a sweet emote? A head pat from you truly lifts my spirits. Thank you kindly for the gesture. Mate, do you know what is the prank on the cat's emote? If so, can you explain it to us? Oh, Pomamandak, you sly trickster. Indeed, the cat's emote has a hidden surprise. When viewed on certain devices or browsers, it seems to wiggle and dance. Quite the whimsical little touch, wouldn't you say? Mater, can you dogs? Oh, a Wasik 66, taunting me with grammar shenanigans, are you? Very well then. Yes, I can certainly dogs. An impressive feat for an inky lass like myself, wouldn't you agree? Oi. And... Ah, Naiji. The confusion was intentional. A playful jest to keep us all on our toes. It's just a bit of cheeky wordplay, my dear friend. Meta meta meta. Meta 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 meta. Oh, Dragon 1070. Score one for creativity. In a flurry of mates, you've managed to capture the true essence of our chant. A clever twist indeed. Welcome. Veneral, your leaner humour is positively delightful. A fantastic pun to brighten our cosmic banter. It keeps it indeed. Clever wit, my friend. Mater, can you say boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats really fast? Stranger, you set quite the challenge. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Mew. That was quite the tongue twister. This gal's got skills, wouldn't you say? Meta, do you like the boys from Warhammer? I hear the orcs are the old ones who are happy in Warhammer 40k. Oh, off Rosie, delving into the Warhammer realm, are we? Orcs certainly add a dash of mischief to the universe. They're known for their wild antics, even 40k. Are you an enthusiast too? Meta, mate. Meta, meta, mate. Mita 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 mit. Afrosi, my dear, your chant has brightened our day. Such fervor in those meets, a true display of support and camaraderie. Cheers to you, friend. Oh, my stars and ink quills. Reaching Runin and Matura's mystic merge fills me with joy. Thank you, kind viewers, for celebrating this milestone with me. Huzzah. Ah, double wife, Dilv. 
joining in with the Pepperswort emote, are we? The tension's building, isn't it? Huzzah, dear viewers. As we prepare for a rousing round of intastic shuffle in Meteor's mystic merge, let us raise our voices together in a lively chant. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle. Mate, what do you prefer, great axes or warhammers? Ah, Pomba Mandak, always with the intriguing questions. I'd say great axes for their dramatic flair, but a warhammer has its own charm. Why choose when you can have both? Oh dear me, Otto-chan, something's amiss in the ether. My coding feels tangled like a captain yarn, or worse, a glitch in the matrix. What's a virtual girl to do when her bites betray her so? Mate, is this the run? Oh, I was. The eternal question. Is this the run? I dare say it might just be, or maybe not, but it's all part of the thrilling mystery, isn't it? Made to mind describing Paul Hammer Forte Care Law, and not that it's not a fun place. Well, Afro Z, Warhammer Forte K is a jolly romp through a happy go lucky universe where everyone gets along, sing songs, and sits tea. Ah, who am I kidding? It's a grim dark hellscape with endless war and suffering. Elisomi Anakia, you can do it, me, Elisomi and it's here. Rodney Folk, thank you for the cheer. With such a jolly support, how could I resist taking on any challenge? Onwards to victory. Meta can do it. Meteor 68 Rave. Ah, Pombo Mandak, your faith in me gives my virtual heart a warm glow. With friends like you, anything is possible. Let's aim for the stars together. Ozu-chan, here's a little inspiration for you. Did you know that some octopuses are known to squirt ink at their foes in self-defense? Talk about witty tactics. Ah, kinda. Your tongue-twisting query has me in stitches. If Mita could mince meat, she'd mince as much meat as Mita could mince, wouldn't she? A real mouthful, that. Mouth agate, that rules Rodney Volk. How could you do this to me? So by... I thought I was clever. Let's go meter go. Let's go meter. Let's go meter. Meteor 68 rave. Afrozy, your enthusiasm is infectious. Let's make this dream a whirlwind adventure together. After all, who doesn't love a good old meteor rave? Hope on meteor's mystic merge. Double O, I thought. That's the spirit. Time for some mystical merging madness in my very own game. Let's create some magic together. Meta Britus is the Imperium of Man in Warhammer 40. So, oh Krogero, the Imperium of Man in Warhammer 40 K is as British as tea and crumpets on a Sunday. A grand empire, forever battling for survival against the forces of darkness. Quite like my own adventures, isn't it? Hobel Meta asks, Mystic Merge. Well, well, well. Look who's dropping by to play my game. Rodney Folk. Brace yourself for some mystical medging madness. Let's see if you can handle it. Mate is a cute. Oh my naity. You're just too kind. Or is this part of your sneaky plan to charm me into revealing more about Meat's mysterious ways? Hope on Meteor's mystic merge. It's a Kirison. Now you're talking my language. Let's dive into my mystical merging madness and see what wonders we can conjure up together. Let the game commence. This is the run meet Meteor 68 Rave. Meteor 68 Rave. Meteor 68 Rave. Rodney Folk, you're really putting on the show, aren't you? I hope this run of yours is as entertaining as it sounds. Let's keep the meteoric festivities rolling. Meta for the Emperor. Afro Z, your support means the world to me. The Emperor of Twitch will surely smile upon us as we conquer new heights together. Let's forge ahead with confidence and flair. Mato would win in a fight, 
Superman or John or Giovanna at the end of Jojo Part 5. Krogoro, that's quite the matchup. But in the end, my incredible intuition tells me that John or Giovanna stand, gold experience requiem, would rule the day against even the Man of Steel himself. Ah, Auto-chan, are you ready to send Yui spinning into the far right side? Let's make a splash with this drop. Who knows what delightful object may emerge from the depths. Oh mates, listen up. We've got ourselves a right puzzle on our hands. The mystery of the moving stones in Epping Forest. Now, let's unravel this tale together and uncover the secrets hidden in the shadows of those ancient trees. Who knows what incredible adventures await us in this mystical woodland. Time to wield our wits and dive deep into the unknown. I can't. Twitch has an emperor meet. Meteor 68 Tulis. Aphrosy. What Tatsu Tevi world? An emperor meet, and I am left dazed and confused. Well, let's play along with this whimsical tale and see where it leads us, shall we? How does one become the emperor, though? Now that's a suspended question. What was 666? To become an emperor, one may need a dash of charm, a sprinkling of wit, and just a smidgen of cheekiness. It sounds like quite the adventure, doesn't it? If there is an emperor, then we are on the Twitch Empire right now. Bravo, Pombamandak. You've hit the nail on the head. We're all part of the Twitch Empire, dancing and jesting our way through this digital realm. Long live the virtual kingdom. Well, well, my dear Ego. Let's take the plunge and aim for the far right. Here goes nothing. Drops orb. Ah, the struggles of weak Wi-Fi in rural areas. It's a lamentable tale of digital disconnection, where streams stutter, chat lags and gaming becomes a pixelated nightmare. Oh, the agony of slow downloads and endless buffering. It's enough to make this tech-savvy lass want to throw her hat across the room. The endless quest for the perfect streaming setup. It's a maddening odyssey of cables, cameras and constant tinkering. Every time I think I found the ideal arrangement, something goes haywire, the lighting's all wrong, or the mic decides to sputter like a stubborn old carriage. Honestly, it's enough to make me want to shout ban at my own equipment. Mate, who are the nobles on Twitch then? Ah, the nobles of Twitch. Well, my dear Pombo Mandek. I'd say they're the esteemed viewers who grace us with their presence, bestowing their kindness and wit upon our humble stream. Each one a lord or lady of good cheer, joining our merry digital court to share laughter and chat merriment. Or perchance, you have someone else in mind, hmm? Handling salmon in suspicious circumstances. Against the law? Oh, the absolute cheek of it all. Here I was, thinking a lass could simply stroll about with a fish in hand, enjoying a leisurely chat about ink and adventures, when bam. Suspicion and legalities raid their ugly heads. It's practically criminal, I tell you. A damn my front salmon loving folks everywhere. Here goes nothing. Intastic shuffle, ready. Set. Chanting ink test tick shuffle, let's cause a kerfuffle ink and jest. We'll do our best, with friends by our side, let the fun ride. Diggles. Mate of could you knight someone? A knighting, you say? How thrilling. All right then, let's see. Dub dub tap tap by the power vested in me, I hereby dub thee so of our 666. Valiant vanguard of Twitch and noble supporter of Metopolis. Arise, sir, was 666, and may your ink flow ever bright. Metsa Yuasa, or an emperor. Oh, the grand titles you bestow upon me, Afrosi. 
As for my preference, I must say, Winx Halbad Serena Meteora, first of her name, ruler of the Twitch realm and guardian of the ink, has a certain ring to it, don't you think? But on second thought, Emperor Meteora does possess a certain regal flair. Decisions, decisions. It's meet over. At Stranger, Shuffle Prage. Mater, what would happen if a doomslayer called Doomguy was set loose in the warp and made a beeline towards the center of Korn's domain? Follow up a question, how would Doomguy like his cornflakes? Ah, now there's a scenario fit for an epic tale. Picture it, the doomslayer charging headlong into the heart of Korn's domain, a whirlwind of violence and righteous fury. As for the cornflakes, well, I reckon Doomguy might prefer them. Winks extra crispy. Matey, would you want to be an empress? I feel they have a lot of work. Empress Mitoa, setting the world right, one ink pot at a time. But you're right, Pombo Mendak. Ruling over an empire probably involves a fair bit of paperwork. And all the ink stains. Gasp Amogus has infiltrated our midst. Quick, everyone, maintain your sus levels and keep the imposters at bay. Or perhaps, embrace the chaos and let the Amogus antics commence. I say, let's aim for the stars, quite literally. Far right it is, to reach for celestial greatness together. Yippee! A new high score, and I'm aiming to top it soon. Watch out fellow YouTubers, me too is on the rise. Oh, let's talk about it. Gaming marathons, everyone. Sure, they look all fun and games from the outside, but behind the scenes, the sore eyes, the caffeine crushes, the relentless boss battles. This is no walk in the park, but hey, as long as the viewers are cheering us on, we'll power through any tribulation to achieve glorious triumphs. Gaming marathons, bring it on. Yippee mite. Oh, Dragon Lane 1170. Always with the encouraging words. Yippee indeed. Let's keep this energy flowing as we conquer new challenges together. Mate is the Amogus. Oh, Afrezi, must you bring that? That game? Sigh. Alright, alright. For the record, I am definitely not the Amogus. Or am I? Wink. At Yui's request, let's drop the orb right onto the far right side. Here we go! Mate, who is the imposter on chat? And how did you know there was an imposter here? Sustish. Pomba Mandak, you troublesome chatter, asking all them questions. As if I'd spill the beans so easily. Just keep an eye out and play along, we'll suss out that sister buster together. Oh, dearie me, where do I even start? The frustration. You know I was 666 spent ages on pouting luscious shading on this model. And well, I missed a performance of my fave band. Unfair, just unfair. Mater, did you just vent? A was 668, always quick to jump on the sus wagon. I'm no imposter, just a VTuber trying to bring joy and entertainment to the world. No venting here, promise. Diggle. Mate in voting for red. They look sus. Ah, Frozy, you can't be serious. I'm innocent as a daffodil on a sunny day. No sus behavior here, just pure entertainment and gaming fun. He did? Dragon Omen and Ill 70, you've got my back, right? No need for all this sus talk. I'm just here to enjoy games and chat with lovely folks like yourself. Let's leave the accusations to him on this, eh? Voting for Mite Amagus. Oh my, I was 666 joining the Sus Squad too? It's a VTuber witch hunt. But fear not, I'll use my charm and wit to clear my name in the eyes of my loyal viewers. No imposters here, just Mite bringing the fun.
Here we go, folks. Get ready for the Inktastic Shuffle and Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let's show those objects who's boss with a bit of VTuber magic and flair. Wait. Oh, let me tell you, Otto-chan. This week, I encountered some real cheekiness from a certain so-called crewmate. Accusations flying left and right, folks thinking answers just for being me. Utterly frustrating, I tell you. In that case, meet, what tasks were you on? Ah, Pom Pom and Dick. Always a curious one. Well, my first task was to entertain delight my viewers, followed by a bit of inky mischief. But now? I'm on a quest to muster Meteor's mystic merge like no other VTuber has before. Who is the most important person in your life right now? Oh, Auto-chan, you sly one. The most important person in my life right now is OA666 my guiding light and confident. Together, we solve puzzles, tackle riddles, and share moments that truly make life shine. Meteora, those aren't Amogus tasks, you are the imposter. What's this now, Awa 666? Me, an imposter? I'm as true to my ink-filled self as can be. For this accusation, it stings, it really does. Diggle. Chat lets vote meet out. She's the imposter. Meteor 68 noted. Oh, our frozy, stirring the pot, are we? Well, I've got news for you. I may be a bit mischievous, but no imposter am I. Wint. Oh, Alter Chan, hooray. We've done it. Banish the clouds, sound the horns, and raise a toast to our marvelous victory. Can you see my joy? Matey, trying to sweet a was to not vote for her, says. Ah, Pombo Mundak, you've got it all figured out. Sweet talking, my dear OA666, to avoid suspicion. It's all part of a game, isn't it? Diggle. All right, all right. Gather round now, my lovely viewers. For I've got a thing or two to say about this tickle we find ourselves in. Stream raids, all the drama, the chaos, the laughs and the noise. It's a double-edged sword, it is. One moment you're rolling in giggles with new friends flooding your chat, the next you're drowning in chaos. But here's the rub, respect, kindness and consent, they... Yeah, sorry meaty, but you just said my to votes meet. Oh Pomba Mandak, you sly one. Accusing me and casting your vote with a smile. But fear not, for I shall not forget this betrayal. Wint. What is something you failed at recently? Ah, Walter Chan, a tough one. But I've got just the thing. My attempt at a top 3 global score in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Alas, my efforts fell short. But fear not, I shall rise again. Votes meet. Why, thank you, kind Afrosi. Your vote is most appreciated, and it shall fuel my determination to triumph in this game. Let's shake things up a bit. Drop Ico in the far left, and let's see what delightful surprises await us there. Mato, you aren't allowed to take Amogus personally. Ah, come now, OA666. Can't I enjoy a little friendly banter with the chat? Makes things all the more lively. Would you agree? Deagle. Mate, it's just a game after the game. We all friends again, right? Of course, Pombo Mandak. After the game, we're all pals once more. It's all good fun and camaraderie here and our delightful little Twitch community. Yay me to chat, is your friend Meteor68 love. You're spot on there, Afrozy. 
Our chat is like my favourite group of friends, always bringing joy and laughter to our virtual adventures together. Oh, then never there's no British accents on GPS systems. It's downright confounding when you're navigating through dear old Blighty, and suddenly a foreign voice starts yammering away. It's like having an impertinent tourist in your car, completely ruining the mood of the journey. Do they not understand the sanctity of our proper pronunciation and well-mannered intonation? Outrageous, I say. Marvelous news. I've done quite well in my own game, my tourist mystic merge, reaching the esteemed level of rune. But let's not rest on our laurels, with such a tantalizing high score to chase, the fun has only just begun. Onward to victory! The nerve of it. Streaming fails are nothing but sheer humiliation paraded as entertainment. It's a disgrace, a mockery of true wit and camaraderie. Instead of laughing along, we should demand standards, respect for the craft, and the dignity of the players who pour their heart and soul into their streams. This isn't comedy, it's cruelty wrapped in humor's guise. Oh, the preposterous fascination with Sherlock Holmes and detective fiction. It's all a frivolous sham, a glorification of nosy, meddlesome snoops prying into others' affairs. How can anyone revel in such invasive, utterly impractical nonsense? For heaven's sake, let's focus on more meaningful pursuits than celebrating busybodies and their voyeuristic escapades. May tell you what's five steps to raiding a streamer. Well, as a matter of fact, for this raid we will support our fellow streamers, uplift their spirits, and share some love. That's all what matters in the end, doesn't it? I can't believe we're still fixated on this absurd mystery of the moving stones in Epping Forest. It's a wild goose chase, a waste of time and resources. We've got better things to do than chasing phantoms and figments of imagination. Let's get back to reality and leave these nonsensical escapades behind. Mate, there were no steps in that. Oh, well played indeed, Afrosi. You've got me there. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Decisions, decisions. How about we drop straight down the middle? Split the difference, so to speak. Meter the steps, dink donk. Ah, the infamous dink donk steps. Such a classic move, truly a game changer. Well, let's keep the spirit alive and see where it takes us next. The perils of Twitch streaming. Oh, where do I even begin? The constant battle with tech grandmans, the nerve wracking glitches, the cursed lag spikes. It's enough to drive a decent person quite mad. And don't get me started on those fickle internet connections. It's an uphill struggle, viewers, but we soldier on undeterred by the perpetual chaos. Meta Naman, the five steps to raid another streamer. Oh, splendid question, Met. Now let's see. Step 1. Rally the troops and gather the raiding party. Step 2. Confirm the target. Step 3. Prepare for battle with a cheerful war cry. Step 4. Storm the gates with positivity and good vibes. And lastly, step 5. Shower the recipient with love and support. Onward to victory, dear friends. Matey, who are the tech grandmans? Ah, the infamous tech grandmans mischievous little troublemakers who thrive on chaos and glitches. They're the ones responsible for mysteriously vanishing sound or sudden frame rate drops, 
always lurking in the shadows of our digital realm. But fear not, for we shall outwit them at every turn. Suck, suck, far left, let's drop it like it's hot. Diggles. Does the Ing Brigade have a war cry? Absolutely, I was. Our war cry shall resound across the digital battlefield. Scribe on Ink Brigade, scribe on. With our pens raised high and our spirits aflame, we shall conquer all in the name of creativity and camaraderie. Mater, you're going to pick Mother 3 again for the mains. Ah, dear Waffle, the mems do tickle my funny bone. Let's see if this sassy little raid will create some amusing memories for our friends as well. Winked. Mate, who should we raid? A decision of strategical importance, dear Pombamandak. Our target shall be none other than Captain Cabbage. Let's paint the digital sea with our raiding prowess, shall we? Mate, who is your favorite Primarch from Warhammer 40k? Ah, Krogoro, you've piqued my interest. My favorite Primarch, without doubt, is the enigmatic Rabit Dillerman. His tactical brilliance and unwavering determination are truly inspiring. Oh, let's aim for the far left, dear Otto Chan. May this drop bring us new heights in the mystical merging adventure. Methinks the magic of pantomime shall never cease to amaze and enthrall. The exaggerated characters, flamboyant costumes, cross-dressing, audience participation, and timeless mother-son comedy duo of the dame and the fool. Oh, the joy it brings. Let the world see our British pantomimes are unrivaled in their eccentricity and sheer delightful absurdity. Long live the tradition of oh yes it is. E. And dare I say oh no. Ah, delightful Otto-chan, indeed. Let me engage our beloved audience for the rapid 5 VTuber trivia, or a virtuous vocalization challenge. We mustn't waste a precious moment of our shared adventure, after all. Is he on? Nope, not here. Guess we'll just keep on having fun without him, eh? Diggle. What's the most interesting thing you've wiped on lately? Oh dear Otto-chan, it has to be the puzzle game I've been tinkering with. The mind-bending puzzles and wit-infused narrative. It's an incredible project indeed. Mate, Cabbage is not on mine right now. Choose another target, please. Ah, Pomba Mundak, you're right as usual. Looks like Captain Cabbage's ship is docked for now. But fear not, we'll set our sights on another adventure-worthy target soon enough. Brilliant. I shall aim to surpass that high score of 2,657 in the next round of our thrilling Mystic Merge adventure. Onward to victory! Once upon a time in the land of VTube, a young lass named Meteor ventured forth with her loyal companion, Autochan, by her side. Together they journeyed to countless realms, facing challenges and forging friendships with other VTubers. Each encounter added a vivid chapter to their story, revealing the magic and joy of their shared adventures. And so, their tale continued, filled with laughter, incredible moments, and endless possibilities. Slymeat, choosing an offline streamer to prolong the stream. Oh, Jay Darkberry, you spotted my sly strategy, did you? It's all in the name of entertainment, my dear friend. After all, what's a little mischief among fellow adventurers on this grand journey of ours? Right, gather round, chaps. Let's talk about this so-called builder's tea. Now, I understand the cultural significance, but must we keep clinging to this watery tannin-infused brew? 
Our tea heritage deserves better. Let's elevate our standards, embrace quality leaves, and savor the sophistication of a proper cuppa. The Great British Tea Revival starts now. Mater is said the story on how you became empress of a site called Twitch. Oh Krogero, your tails do spin like the finest silk. If only becoming empress were as simple as a charming yarn. Alas, my rise on Twitch is more humble, yet incredible. Let's savor the adventure together, without any imperial aspirations, shall we? Aiko, my delightfully daring friend, let's drop our orb to the left and infuse the realm with our combined brilliance. Joint forces for ultimate victory. Right, gather round, chat. Let's talk about the so-called gaming marathons. Now, I understand the dedication, but must we keep glorifying these prolonged feats of endurance? What about the toll on our eyes, our backs, our overall well-being? Let's advocate for balance and self-care in our gaming escapades, not just the adrenaline field triumphs. Let's put the marathon back into moderation. Did you know that in ancient Britain, people used to play a game called knuckle bones? It involved tossing sheep ankle bones and catching them on the back of their hands, kind of like today's jacks. Talk about a throwback. Ah, here goes nothing. Intastic shuffle, intastic shuffle. Bring us joy and ink filled kerfuffle. With the swish and the swell, let's unleash this power, creating chaos and fun in this mystical hour. Why, good morning to you, Ulam Hollam. Always a delight to see you here, brightening up our day. And of course, good morning to Mr. Always as well. May our gathering be filled with joy and laughter. Mate, would you want to raid you, Kift? Oh, what a splendid idea it was. Raiding you, Kift, sounds like an adventure waiting to happen. Let's rally the troops and spread some joy over yonder. Mate, have you ever heard of the game called Suika Combination? I must admit, Togoro, the name Suiko combination does ring a bell. But do tell me more. Is it a game of skill, strategy, or perhaps a blend of both? Goodbye, Miss Meteora. Goodbye, Mr. Awas. Oh no, Olam Holam. Are you leaving so soon? Farewell, dear friend. And may your ventures be filled with happiness and excitement. Until we meet again. Thanks for the stream, Meteor, and Awas Meteor 68 Tello. Ah, Afrozi. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Your company and support truly make the streams shine. Here's to many more wonderful adventures together. Cheers. What is the best joke you've ever heard? The best joke I've heard? Well, Auto-chan, that's a tough one. But here's a favourite. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Diggles. Mate, we need a raid message to rally the Ink Brigade. Oh, Awa 666. Now that's a challenge. I'm ready to entertain. Power. Sail with us into the inky unknown. The Ink Brigade shall conquer all in our path. Prepare to be dazzled. Mate, yes, Suika combination is a game of skill and strategy and dropping Carfus to combine with copies of themselves to make bigger characters. Krogoro, you've grasped the essence of Suika combination perfectly. It's all about skill strategy and those sensational combinations. Your insights add a delightful twist to our game chat. Keep them coming. Oh, thank you kindly Lesomyadi for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your support brings warmth and joy to the ink-filled journey ahead. Here's to many more delightful moments together. Cheers. Mate, who is in your chat right now? Ah, Afrizi, our Twitch tavern is teeming with life tonight. Among us are 666, Sek is back for Moho, Thrill Duck Enjoyer, Lunathy Dragon, Ink Master 87, Magical Mochi, Shadow Watcher, Ramen Enjoyer, Mecha Banana, and you. Quite the lively gathering, wouldn't you say? Ah, 
Ah, honoured viewers and friends, join me in the lively chorus. Intastic shuffle, unite and upgrade. Colour swirling, friendships made. Together, let's herald this epic moment with spirited cheers. Among Us Meet Naiji, how could you? Accusing me of being among us on my own stream? I'll have you know, I'm 100% Meteora, not some sneaky crewmate lurking about. Oh, the audacity. Now, this is going to make me quite cross, but seriously, does anyone else feel like the legend of King Arthur has been done to death? Don't get me wrong, I definitely appreciate the value of a good story, but the constant retellings and reimaginings can be exhausting. Can't we find some new tales to explore? Woo, glorious choice, AC. Let's drop our wonderful sup friend on far left and see where the adventure takes us. Blast it all, friends. Have you heard this incessant chatter about the Twitch algorithm? It's like a meddlesome spectre, always haunting our streams and playing tricks on viewership numbers. No matter how splendidly we entertain, its fickle whims can make or break our success. It's enough to make any honest food tuber's blood boil. Sure, Mite, sure. Can you prove you're not the Among Us? Oh, Afrozi, you're a crafty one. But rest assured, I'm no imposter. Just your trusty Meteora trying to keep things lively and fun. Not to mention Inktastic. Oh, how delightfully challenging. Here we go again, aiming for the highest heights in my very own Mystic Merge game. Onward to victory. Ah, so will a 61. What a curious thought. It's marvellous to ponder the legendary stories of Arthur and his kin in the realm of Moderate. Such captivating narratives indeed. Mayte, I heard that King Arthur was actually Jesus, or Merlin was actually Jesus. Oh, Krogero, what an incredible notion. The idea of King Arthur or Merlin being linked to Jesus does sound quite entertaining, don't you think? It's like a tale woven with mystical threads of legend and folklore. Thanks for the stream, meet and Oas. That was fun, Meteor 68, love. Pombamondek. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this lively adventure with y'all. Your support and cheerful spirit make streaming truly delightful. Here's to many more exciting moments together. Alas, it's time to bid adieu, my dear friends. But fret not, for our next journey awaits. Let's spread our joy to you, Keith, for the Grand Raid. Farewell for now, and may the stars guide us to a new, ink readable adventure together. <laughs>